comments? I don't know. Oh, because I haven't gone live. Thank you very much. Thank you That's very much. That's all you had to say, bro. Thank you very much. That's all you Yo had to say. Yo sé lo que hago. I am tech savvy. Yeah, okay. You hear her? <coughs> tech savvy. I am tech savvy. Tech savvy. Look, the comment box came on. There you we happy? go. That's what I wanted. Wow. Okay. That's what I wanted. Got you. Facebook, what's up? How's everybody doing this evening? Hey, apologies, everybody, <laughs> from last week. Instagram banned our last episode because we said the C word too much, I guess, or I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Cunt. Fucking cancel culture at his best, bro. Cunt. <laughs> no, you can say that. You won't get banned for that shit. You sure? You sure? Yeah, I think a hundred percent. La menopausa me está empezando, coño. A hundred percent. You can say all those Woo. things. Daisy you. is in. Hi, Daisy, mama. Ay, que calor. Hace calor. Every week, bro, you be... You La be, menopausa. You be glistening. What's up, Pito? What's up, compi? Hope all is well. Yo, we need to have like a fan and an air conditioning and just hit you. Right in the face. It's menopause season. Well, what how can I tell you? It's not season. For you, it seems like Amaryllis. Hi, mama. Do you see my boobs? My boobs look great. Amaryllis does brows. She's on um, IG. She did my eyebrows here in Orlando. Oh, and my she God. Is you, fabulous. You are just I'm putting so everybody's ex- stuff are, out. No, that's fine. That's but you're right. really excited everybody gotta, about that. Everybody got to make money. And she, put, she made my babies look brand new, of course. Oh. She's got that shout out, and right, how, boo? And how long is that going to last? Nelly Regan. Um, so she did the ombre brows on me, and they actually last longer than microblading. Uh, microblading, you would need uh, a touch-up every year. Uh, and Marillis, you can answer, Mommy, at any time. <laughs> as far as when I got to go back to get them done. But she did a fantastic job. I didn't feel a thing, not a, not a pinch. And our conversation was, like, juicy and on point and everything. That's, I loved that's my experience That's an awesome explanation. I just felt like I just w- saw an Asian movie with no subtitles because I didn't understand <laughs> shit that you just told me. Absolutely You not. asked. You I asked. know you asked. I said it was it You was asked. We have like Dillagaff um, in the house. On, yo, it's yo. only V is in the house. Um, so yes, uh, we hope everyone is doing um, really good this evening. Um, we have a great topic for tonight. Let's talk about sex and we'll be doing that in a little bit. But we're gonna just uh, shoot the breeze. What's up? What's good? How was your week? You missed me, cause you haven't seen me in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen you. I've seen you through Facetime. I, I see you. I know. And if I forget what you look like, I can go to your social media pages and see. Oh, that's what oh, we yeah, look like. Or you could call Ben and just be like, like "Where the fuck is your wife?" Well, you never pick up your phone. I pick up my phone. No, no, no. Stop, I do. Stop, I pick up my phone. Stop lying. Stop lying. Fairy tales and lies. Where right is it? Fairy tales and lies. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Alex is on um, IG. You ready to look at? He's ready. Oh, he's ready. He's <laughs> you always. what you ready for, boo? What you ready for? Always. No. Um, so, honest. yeah. So, yeah. We're, we're bringing you a good show tonight. I do we want to. We bring a to... good show every night. Every Sunday. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> we bring a good show. Show. We we yeah, listen. We're not perfect, right? We, we're never gonna be perfect. We're not we, perfect. We get better every week. Yep. Benjamin is on. I'm on his new. You're not his new ace, boo. You be settle down. Settle down, you two. <laughs> Ustedes dos se creen que son amigos. Settle down. You you and uh, super mega producer need to listen. Dumb it down. Listen. Dumb it down. I can't reach you. And there's many times I FaceTime you and you go unavailable or you just fucking just send me to voicemail as we used to do, right? Before FaceTime, send you to voicemail. I send you to voicemail on no, my before, phone. No, before, before. Pay attention to no what I'm saying. Así. Pay attention. But now it's like, so then I got to call him and he usually picks up my phone all the time. The only time he doesn't pick up my calls or FaceTime is when he's sleeping. You want to hear something interesting? Not really, but he gonna, never picks up my calls. You gonna, he picks up your calls all the time. Mother effer, I gotta text him. I text him, and then I'm like, "Did you read my message?" Listen, we're here. We're in the, when we we're in the studio. It's because you're here making it's magic. Because you're here. He picks up all. He making picks up magic. Magic magic in the studio. Pause. 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 <laughs> pause. He picks up your phones. He picks up your FaceTime calls. Everything. Everything. <laughs> And there's nothing because it seems that that's how you people in this house communicate. <laughs> you live in the same house, but you actually don't see each other in person. And well, okay, where you, you talk to Nina, but you don't see her, but you talk to her all the time. I'm like, what do you want, baby? And I'm like, ah, I'm playing video games. No, what oh, you want to? Okay, that's it. Mind you, you're only a, a couple of feet away from each other. It's ridiculous. That's right. We communicate. We communicate. Yeah. But you're right. You're right. That's a good point because um, with technology, we've made it so much easier now to communicate. 
Whereas in our days, right, if your mom wanted to speak to you, your dad wanted to speak to you, mira, carajo, ven pa' acá, que te estoy llamando. Yeah, right? right out the fucking yeah, window. Now it's not even about that. I know, right, curfew, we get dark. And it's no, like. No, see, when I, when I grew up, there was always um, a mom that lived in the front. And she had the pillow on the windowsill. <laughs> y siempre estaba mirando. And, you know, moms have that all that they, they synchronize themselves and it's like, it's time to go up. And in my, in my case, um, my boy Junior, you, we used to be in the park down the block. And she was like, Junior! <laughs> and it just echoed. But when we heard that, each one of us knew we needed to get asses from the park wow. and back home. Wow. And that's, that's, that's what we did. Wow, that's interesting. But no, yeah, I mean, it happens that way. But with technology, now it's like, let me send a text. I'm not going to scream. And if I scream from downstairs, Nina nor Ben, or if I scream from upstairs, Ben is in the studio. He has it all, you know, protected where you can't, it's soundproof. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to hear me. Um, so yeah, we text. All okay. right. Text, that's it. Text or we call or we FaceTime. All right. Because sometimes I just call him just to see his face. Okay. Yeah, because I'd be like, oh, you were live. Thanks. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, so I saw you plenty yeah. of times this week. In, I don't in between work and all that. You know. <coughs> yeah, work I can't. It's, it's in very person difficult. I didn't. Yeah, work is Until difficult. Today. But you had a good week. Yeah. What the hell did I do? Yeah, I, I'm going to my doctor's appointment. Okay. Yeah. I'm going. Habibo. I'm still alive. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I touch it and I'm like, okay, it's my heartbeat. I still got. I, I still. I got. I got a chance to just continue. <laughs> Every time I, you know, he, he, like you can wake up in the morning, you feel shitty, just touch your heart. Oh shit, I'm alive, so I can do something. Absolutely, important. that's an so. amen right there. Ooh, you have Sky Barbie. She said hi, Coach Nelson. Hi, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> and we have we have we have a uh, super duper uh, super du super, du super duper mega producer mega is. producer. He said my mom's teeth fell out the window when she <laughs> yelled at me. One time. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> we, like our generation can has some great stories that like these the, the generations now would never appreciate whatsoever. I had to go dumpster diving for my mom's teeth one time. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God! I oh. hope, mommy, I love you. I'm just a TMI. What, they fell in the garbage by mistake? No, I think she was eating and she took them off. She wrapped them up in a in a napkin, a napkin, and, and then, then threw it out. She threw it out. Yeah. So we had to go dumpster diving. I did that, but I did that with food I didn't want to eat. Then my mother was forcing me to eat. Some, oh, I'm vibrating. My phone's vibrating. Sorry, my bad. Somebody's texting me. Oh, okay. See, vibration is part of the topic. Hey, hey. There we go. Got hey. it. Got it. Oh my God! I. You know what? We may bring out a special guest tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. We may bring out a special guest. Who else is out there Let's on do Facebook? It. Let's, um, do Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> we have my compi. Uh, we have Benjamin. So who's out there on Facebook? And I've already shouted out a lot of people here on IG. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's crazy. It says seven viewers. But, oh, there's seven people watching, but... These are only the people that commented. Got it. So come on, come on, you see? secret stalkers. Can Let's we? go. Put yourself out there. Be transparent. Let us know who's out there. Don't be sneaking up. I love that. I That's love right. that. That's right. That's right. I love that. Yo, face between Facebook Flo. and IG. I love when people are like, oh yeah, I saw on Facebook. Like Mofo, you haven't. I haven't seen you on Facebook, little stalker. You on the DL. Those are the DL stalkers. I got my cousin Flo. That's Hi, right. yo te bendiga, mi amor. Hope all is well. Francis, my love. <laughs> Mia te chavate, your mama. <laughs> That's my godmother. <laughs> Kisses to you, baby. I love you. I know she won't, but she's all right. She'll, she'll love me. She'll still love me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> See, everybody's everybody's chiming in. Did I like that. Did you find them? I don't recall. I want to say yes, but I don't recall. Okay. Yeah, I don't recall. Um, Interesting. So, yeah, so before we get in, before we get into the show, I, I, I want to... Um, oh, that's the segue, that's the cue. That's the cue. Got Remember it. I said, I said to Got Nelson it. before we started, I said, um, I want to get something off my chest. I want to say something, and I'm going to be extremely transparent with what I'm going to say. And um, Not about me, right? Can you wait? <laughs> oh, I have plenty of patience. You Abu, know that. Why are you telling me if it's about you? Uh, Where it was you a skirt? question. You skirt. No, skirt. You skirt. ¿Tú me hiciste algo? No. Ok, pues cálmate. <laughs> tranquilo, tranquilo. I just no. being nosy. No, 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 no. Um, so, no. Yeah, I, I, I told Nelson before the show that there was something that I want to discuss before we get into tonight's topic. 
And, um, and before we show my socks. Me caso en la madre. <laughs> I so, love you, mommy. If you're watching, <laughs> you want to show your socks? No, not now. And, and was it tonight about not interrupting one another? Yeah, someone told you to do that. <laughs> so what did you think? Did you pick up my bad habit? Lo malo se pega, como dice. <laughs> All right, Go all ahead. right, I'm going to start. All right, all right. can ahead. I do that again? Or oh, you want to show your socks? No, 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 Super Mega Producer ain't here. Oh, okay, that's why he can't zoom in. He, he can't, can't zoom, zoom in, in, so we're good. Um, hey, my spider woman's on. Hi, boo-boo. <laughs> you see, boo-boo. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Flo. We're here, we're transparent, we keep it real. Um, we sometimes say a lot of shit that we're not supposed to, but you know what? F it. it no, is no, what no, it no. Is. We say shit that should be said, but it's not said. Well, that's how come we were banned from IG last week. No, nah, that's because of the topic, not anything. Because we've, we've said Correct. some other stuff before, and that was it's just the Correct. topic that we spoke about. All of a sudden, no one can have a difference of opinion because it's not part of the narrative. But we're, we're not we're done scientists. With that. That's what it, it got, is. Got nothing to do it's with misinformation. Science. Yeah, yeah. Everything is misinformation. It's misinformation. Absolutely. My yes. thoughts are misinformation. Sorry, misinformation. I can't think. I need to just follow, like a drone, and just just comply. Hey, Bronx Katona, how are you? Thank you for joining us. She's on IG. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to just say something, and it's personal to me. Um, I, uh, the last two weeks, and I want to say the week, um, the weekend of Christmas. And um, last week, I had two incidences that occurred in, in my life. And um, in the first instance, I um, allowed the energy of another person to get the best of me. And um, I did like a fucking transformer, and the venom spit out, and the hands flew up, and it got really nasty and ugly. In the se second instance, um, I didn't allow what, what someone said to me to get the best of me. And, and I'm saying this out there because we have the ability to control the way we react. We have the ability to essentially determine how we want to engage with others, right? Absolutely. And <clears throat> I react under two circumstances. One, when you say something hurtful to me, um, and it, and, it, and it just basically, it's like a blade going through my heart. And when you say something about somebody that I love, or you're saying something to somebody that I love, that also puts that blade through my heart. I get fucking crazy. You facts. see red, as they say? Those are the facts. I get crazy. I don't like it. I get very, very defensive when it comes to my loved ones. And I get very defensive when it comes to me. Well, not defensive, protective. Well, I get protective of, of my loved ones, but I get when it comes to me, when you say something hurtful to me, um, I'm quick, right? I'm quick. And um, it's interesting how in the first incident that I had, again, I let I, I just, I flowed with it, and I let the energy in the environment get the best of me, and I said things I shouldn't have said. I did things that I shouldn't have done. Um, and then, you know, I immediately went home and I cried and, and I was I was just like dumbfounded in myself because I worked hard. You know, that's something that I recognized about myself a while ago. And, and I worked hard to, you know, to basically transition to not doing that and to always stop before I speak and before I, I let the you best of me come out. Because you can control your actions. You can, right. That's what you can't control. You can't control right. anything else that happens. Right. You can control how you react to some situation. Right. Now, in the second incident incident that I had, um, what, what the person said to me hurt me. And then the, on top of that, I couldn't even ask questions with regard to what they were saying. So I did say, damn, you just fucked up my head. I wasn't expecting that. But I walked away. Um, you saw my reaction because you were actually here last Saturday. You saw my reaction. And uh, I was more in shock than anything else, but I stepped away before I fully reacted. The next day, <clears throat> I saw that person again, and um, I made the decision that morning. Everybody's an adult. Everybody's going to make their decisions. Everybody's going to rock the way they want to rock, right? And, and they're going to say things that are hurtful. They're going to do things that are hurtful, but I have no control over them. So I made the decision early that morning to let go and to just let it be. And when I saw this person again, all I did was hug this person and tell them, ask them if they were right, and I said that I love them. And interestingly enough, I thought that the tension would still remain there 
after I did that. However, my I, I want to say that my reaction resulted in a positive reaction from that point forward. Um, and I just want to put it out there. I'm not a perfect person. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my family, period. However, if you have something to say to me, say it to me in my face. And before you say it, just think about what you're going to say because there is a way that you can convey, you know, communi- communicating with others. And I, and I put important. it out there. I put it out there because of the simple fact that I worked hard. And I think that we, we can all agree that we all work hard um, to change, right? We all work hard to change. And I read something, which I'm going to read right now, and it says, when you set a new standard on how you expect to be treated, you'll be surprised at those who disappear from your life. It's a hard pill to swallow when you realize how many people benefited from your lack of self-love and boundaries. It's also a great, great way to filter your circle. And, and that's what I had to, to realize, that, you know, when you're there for other people and you're not really doing anything for yourself, people take advantage of that, right? And then when you be, begin to, to do the self-love and setting boundaries and saying, I am not going to continue to do the same thing over and over, that's when people look at you like you crazy, like you got 10 heads. Like you want to be all positive as, as this, everything is all fine and dandy. Yeah, I'm going to be all positive. You know what? Because I don't want the negative energy. You know, one thing I heard today, universe, we got one verse, one chance, one, just one. And at the end of the day, you can choose wisely. Okay. So if anybody's out there that needs to talk to me, that needs to say something, be a woman, be a man, come to me. Come to me, tell me what you got to say, but come to me correctly. Because you're going to come to me in the wrong way, and I'm letting you know my reactions are not always pretty. And don't be surprised when they're not pretty. Don't say, I can't believe you did that, I can't believe you said that, and I, and I can't. No, don't say that, because at the end of the day, I'm giving a public warning to everybody. You're going to get it. You're going to get it, you know. And I'm not proud of the way I reacted in the first incident at all, but I was protecting somebody that I loved, and I didn't like the way things were going down, and I was going to be, I was not going to let that shit happen, and, and I had to do what I had to do. Again, wrong, and I did apologize. So I don't want to, you do know, just say that. Do not swing that arm this way to physically <laughs> hurt me. Do I don't, I, you know, I did apologize. I did apologize because I was out of line, you know, but at the end of the day, I don't have a regret because I'll do it, I'll do it over and over and over. You know, um, but I wanted to get that off my chest because I know last week you asked me how I was and I've been out of, I've been out of my element and I thank you for this because you wrote me a letter and in my letter you said, where's the Mia that I know, right? Mia has disappeared and it's because Mia has been there for everybody else and I don't mind being there for everybody else. I really don't. I can, I give my heart for those that are there for me, but at the end of the day, don't take what I give and don't take advantage of it because I'm human. And I hurt, and I feel, and I know that when I make mistakes, I'm not perfect. I'm so not perfect. But at the end of the day, don't take my wrongdoings and then think that, oh, Mia's this perfect person use and she's man, strong. Use, use you know, don't, don't, don't fucking throw the shits at me. And then when I throw the shits at you, I'm the fucking enemy. Because that's not how it goes. That's not how it goes in this life. At least me, that's not how it goes. So I just needed to let everybody know, yeah, has it been Fucked up two fucking and a half weeks for me. It wait, has. Wait a way to start a new year. It fucking has. But at the end of the day, don't fucking take my kindness for weakness and don't underestimate how I'm going to come at you. Don't. You know, I, and I needed to get that off my chest. And if anybody's going through that as well, you know, keep, keep your standards up high. Keep your boundaries high. And, and don't let anybody step on you. And don't let anybody change how you're thinking and your perception, you know, because they want to keep you where you once were. Okay? They want to keep you where you once were. And if you're a changed person, don't let that energy, don't don't let that energy rip from you all the hard work that you have done for yourself. That's why they say misery loves company. And I will say I have been putting it out there on my social media pages. And, and I heard it. I heard it because there's bochincha going on with Jenny Rivera and her inheritance. Oh my God, she's Who? The wo- Jenny Rivera. She's Who the woman the that died on the plane. 
<laughs> that goes by ADD. But in Whoa, any event, that was just so random. Event, I'm like, who the hell? I heard, is Jenny I heard, Rivera? I heard this. I heard this. Of uh oh, VG's on. Oh, I heard this phrase. What's up, baby? I love you. I love you. I heard this phrase, and 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 it's it basically says, be quick to listen, slow to anger, and slow to speak. And that and and I've taken that mantra and I've repeatedly have said it. And again, it's not like this is something I didn't practice. I practice it. It's I thought I perfected it until I I allowed my energy, my universe, and my peace to be rattled. There's no such thing as perfecting anything. You get you get better at it every single time you yeah. do it. It's just a matter of being consistent about it. But you know, everybody has a tolerance and there's a breaking point for everybody. I don't care what you say. There's always a breaking point for every single person, but you know you always have, um, you know, choices on emotion always end up bad. That's why you have to stop before you react and yeah. think about things. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We have Alex here. She says, "I'm feeling and understanding this 100. percent I hope it resonates with people. I mean, that's a, that's why we're here because you know we're bringing it from home to your home, and and we don't know the paths that everybody is walking. Um, but if it resonates with you, take it and do as you please with it." We have some comments here um, from my compi. Thank you for being being for, there for us. I, I got your back. Love you. I love you, too. Thank you so much. Sending hugs. Thanks, Yvette. VG, VG's here. Besos, <laughs> besos, besos. <laughs> All right. So with that being said. Can I show my socks now? Wait, what's, who's, who's the, the super guest? No. You have to. You have to. We're not bringing it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, you see, we got Super do. Mega Batus is here with me. He's look, here with me. Listen, in honor of whoa, whoa come on, whoa. I think I could do it. Yeah, in honor of Betty White never reaching a hundred, I got my Betty White Golden Aww, Girl song. Why you gotta touch your touch me your dirty toes? Listen, we spoke about put my feet. Put them up. He's telling you to put them up. I, I spoke about my feet. My feet. Those are not your feet. Those are your socks. They're fucking sexy. You have to put them up. How hot, dude? What do you want me to do? Hold be on, like Yvette, Yvette is asking me to say the mantra again. Uh, be quick to listen. There, yeah, look, look, look. Can you slow to anger. Yeah. Slow to speak. It's on my page too, um, as well, Yvette. In case, so if not, if you want, I'll text it to you afterwards. Wow, look, my core is dope right now. Wow, this exercise shit works. <laughs> I, I, I do not like. I can't do I that. Do, I don't like the sarcasm right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man um young viral young viral See, green, you're, you're from work good green stuff. eyes green eyes hey show them socks that's right oh lord between oh, lord. t-shirts and socks because i'm ink and educated you know yeah. i hear you i hear you vg i'm praying for you my love i love you with all my heart please everybody continue to keep my sister my dear friend virginia in your prayers um she's still in the hospital and, um, you know, she's slowly but surely just she's going to come back to us. She hasn't had her surgery, but um, we got to celebrate your 50th girl. <laughs> That's right. 50, 50, boo. 50, 50, 50, 50. Um, so, yeah. So why can't I bring out my special guest? You talk Super to mega Super Mega Producer. producer. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We, we already we already we already got into the whole, you know, she rocked the cradle and went to the high school to grab That's you. That's an old subject. Oh, <laughs> look, Zoe, my mini me, she wants the socks. Oh, you want those socks? Those socks are dirty. They're not dirty. Those are dirty socks. Those are dirty. socks. I'm very clean. <laughs> very, very. They're clean. on your feet, Papa. And you know what? Someone once told me. The way that you have to wash your socks is by turning them inside out because your feet are actually in and the sock. Correct. So that, but they're both dirty on the other side because if you walk around with your socks, there's rugs here, and I had sneakers on. And I had sneakers on. I'm not saying you per se. I'm oh. saying in general. Well, you're, you're you're I'm the subject right now, so I feel a little personal. It feels personalized. What the hell? Because you're the only one with socks on. Holy right now. shit! I always have socks. <laughs> I, I got slides. I got socks. <laughs> I am known for my socks. I coach in socks. I do my errands in socks. <laughs> All right. Are we going to get into our topic? Can I don't, I, I don't wait, have. Can I bring out my special? I do guest? not have sex in socks. My, my super mega said, no, I don't have sex out. in socks. You don't have sex in socks. No. Cause I use my toes as leverage. Oh, here we go. My toes, my toes are strong. That is a great way to get into tonight's topic. It's a great way to get into tonight's topic. Um, yeah, sex, sex. 
Whoa. Oh, wow. You're on the down. bottom. I went down. I went down. <laughs> You're on the bottom. Yeah, my phone just stopped and it said go down. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, the chair's getting me in position. What the hell? <laughs> All right now. Oh, my Lord. Um, hey, Inez. How are you, Mama? How are you? So... All right. Well, so, this topic has so many subtopics. It's so broad. It, yeah. So it's, it's wide. It, it's very difficult. It's to long. Narrow it down. <laughs> so we were trying. We were trying to figure out what exactly we're going to talk about, and I was like, "Let's just go with the flow." And if something hits or somebody chimes in on something that's interesting, we'll go with it. And you know, so Alex said, "Whip it out." Okay, I'm like, "I don't know what that means, but I don't know what you want to." Have. Well, Alex said, "Bring it out." Now she said, "Whip it out." So now. Whip I don't, it. She oh. said, bring it out, and then she said, whip are you, it out. Are you talking about, oh, okay, I think, I believe that she's, are you talking but about the deep? special guest? I is don't it, know. But is it deep? But is it deep? Now, wow, <laughs> I had sex with grip socks last night. Well, okay. Oh, I love that, the transparency. <laughs> <laughs> Aquario, Aquario Nini. Okay, okay Aquario Nini. All right, Mama. All and right. Can you can you elaborate? How was that? Because I can't. I can't. Well, grip, grip socks. socks, right? Grip socks give you more leverage because they won't slide. So if you're in a like on silky sheets and shit, you know, yeah, it will just grip it, grip it. See if I wear. See. Uh, uh, Sony said, "What? We, wait, we're whipping, whipping things out. <laughs> show and tell. Show and tell." Show and tell. I really, yeah, I would love to show and tell tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you see, but but what what my special guest is? It's a tool that I use, and it's not a it's not a vibrator, guys. Okay, so but I play hot potato in my my events sometimes with it. Wow, I yeah. I, I, I can't even I can't even actually imagine anything <laughs> right now. Hot I, I, now I now I really want to watch it. <laughs> I want to see it. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it's, we go. It's on. It's it's in my closet. <laughs> In a box. Oh, bring them out, puñeta. Mira, nena. Eso se hace, no se dice. Everybody's getting dirty tonight. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's just release all that tension. Yeah, because freaking, you talk about sex, all of a sudden it's taboo. I'm like, no. It's not taboo. It's, you know, it's just it a is. difficult conversation to have, I think, within a relationship. Um, no, especially, espera un momentito. Especially, and no, Virginia, I didn't interrupt him. Okay, <laughs> especially if um, you've been in a long term relationship, it becomes like I'm going to describe it like we did last week with our conversation or our topic last week, the elephant in the room. Right. The elephant in the room. Um, I personally sex to me. Yes, it's deep. It's important. However. Um, there's a transition, in my opinion, from when you're having sex, when you're single Right mm -hmm. to when you're married, huge transition. How so? Well, when you're single, it, you know, if you just want to wham and bam, thank you, sir, uh, or ma'am. Um, See, I, I can't, I can't relate to that, so I need to. I'm, I'm gonna take notes. You can't find it. All right. No, I'm just saying. I oh, mean, you looked at me like I said I can't relate to that. I can't. I, I, you've been single then have sex, have you not? No, you said single and married. The transition. You were married. I was married. For, yeah, but I. I Wait, was married did you when not I was have younger. sex before you got married? I did. And did you not have like free sex, like sex when you're single? Like yeah, I you did. Wanted? I did. Okay, I was so really then you young. should really be able to relate. I thought she was asking you if you paid for sex. <laughs> <laughs> I have too. <laughs> let me tell you something. We all pay you for pay sex. You pay for sex? We pay for. Listen, okay. Let me clarify something. We pay for sex. Well, what version of paid for sex is he talking about? Right, I just interrupted exactly. you. I just yes, interrupted you. Did. Virginia, ding dong, I just interrupted. Oh, ding dong. Uh, <laughs> That's a great thing. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. We all pay for sex. That you pay for it as cash, like you're getting a, a escort or a prostitute, or you're going out to dinner and you're buying dinner, drinks. There is a there is an exchange of money or a barter system or whatever. Regardless, we don't consider it as paying, but we do. It's traditionally the man takes out the woman. Preach. You know, it, um, it is. I want to say that that's old school because. It's not old school. It's I, I want to say that's now. old school because I know when I was single um, and and I'm going to call it dating. But when you were single, that <laughs> when was a very I was long single, time ago. At the end of the day, I, I didn't whoa, allow whoa. a man to purchase dinner all the time. Um, or buy me things all the time be because never, of that. I never said all the time. I didn't say all the time either, but I'm just saying, I don't mean all the time, but there were times that I would say, I will pay 
Yeah. Just so that the other person didn't think that like I was going to pay with my pussy because I ain't paying you with my pussy. After six dinners, then, oh, you know what? I'm going to pay. So, again, that one little... It's like you win three million... You, you, we're married, and I, I have a fortune of $500 million. And you know what, hun? You come to me, honey, I, I want to do something. I, I want to open a... I want to work at a, buti- uh, a, bu- a boutique. And you bring in, in the end of the week, oh, here's $500 to cut to my fungi. Buy se pa carajo con eso, please. <laughs> Please. No, but but I'm just saying, I mean, I think, yes, roles play play a purpose when it comes down to dating because sometimes men have that, men and women, I'm not going to general, I'm not going to be specific about this. No. I'm going to generalize. Men and women um, who decide that we're, we're asking you on a date and we're paying for it, right? Um, not that you're that expecting there's something, sex. There's something that should come in return. More often than not, it is sex. Well, I mean, that's that's one of the things can get returned more often than not. More often than so not. So, what's the transition between in your in your belief, single from single to married? Okay, so for when when you're single, you're having sex, and I mean, in this again, when you're dating and single, and you're having sex. Dating is another topic because we have to f- define the definition of dating. Well, because I've had this conversation. What normally happens when you start when you start when you meet? Well, first of all, there's people that you meet instantaneously and know that you have that sexual attraction to. And oh, when, and so you're, so you're talking about, we spoke of that before you're interrupting. Me. I am not into, oh, listen, what? Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, Virginia, Victor, we're going like, to get to that topic. We'll get that. Cause trust me when I tell you, I asked Nelson the question and I will divulge the question now, but we are going to discuss this. I did ask Nelson, do you like eating pussy? And I asked that question, not it's a general question, but I asked it because I really want to know, you know, what makes, like, what makes a man want to eat a pussy? I'm just saying, <laughs> it's just a question. So, so we're going to get into that in yeah. a few minutes. Because so Fiji, Fiji yeah. has on Facebook, for those that are on Instagram, if you want to eat a woman, uh, if you want, I can't, wait. If you wanna eat, if you wanna, no, she said, if you want to eat a woman, if you want to eat a woman, eat. a woman has to eat. eat. Just kidding. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll put my glass I'll on. give you something to eat. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now, also... For all the women out there, because we have a lot of women out there right now, right? What's so, a, wait, hot potato. <laughs> so, is it true that within the first <laughs> what? great, less Philly. <laughs> what is what is it? The first 10, 15 minutes you meet a man, you know if you he's a potential candidate. To you sleep know with? if you're gonna drop your panties at least okay. for one. So you know is it, you'll is be that like, true? I'm gonna drop them like a hot pancake okay, tonight. Got you. That's got it. You. I mean, I've heard that from Facts. many. I've heard that from many women. Facts. That, yeah. Within if any woman tells 10, me you do not feel a sexual attraction for a man and that you're not gonna drop your panties either that night or the next time you see him. You're a liar. Where is it? Okay. Fairy tales and lies. Book a Fairy tales and lies. Yes. There you go. There okay. you go. Um, so, transition. Single to marry. So, single. When you're single and you're not really looking to get into a deep relationship um, or just you're dating and you're having and, and you're having casual sex, right? Or you have that, that friend from Beneficio, right? Like, like Friends benefits. Friends with benefits. Like, you know, those public benefits. That's what we're going to call them. Public benefits. Public benefits. Okay. Um, you know... Yeah, you can, you can essentially, you enjoy it all the time. And I'm not saying when you're married, you don't. When you when you get married, mm-hmm. when you get married, before you get married, sex is on and popping, mm-hmm. right? Ooh, everywhere, anywhere, let's just get it down, right? You get married, first couple of years, it's like la gloria. Ah, not for right? everybody, but. Not for everybody. Right. But then, but in, in but then comes the kids, and then comes work, and then comes. Life. Um, responsibilities, and and then comes the yo estoy cansado, yo tengo un dolor de cabeza, I'm tired, I have a headache. Um, but then you age, right? You you age. Like I say to myself, I mean, when you're already in your 60s and your 70s, and this is why I believe it's important that you build on your communication with your spouse. Because once you, you know, if you have kids, once your kids are out of the home, and once your, your, your dick can't get up, and I'm sorry, I'm being very vulgar because at the end of the day, we're talking about sex, so I'm not going to be like penis, penis and, vaginas. and vagina. It's not happening. Um, but once, you know, I, I your dick to... can't get up, and once your pussy's not working properly, all there's left is the vibe that you got with that person. And drugs. The blue pill? But the carajo with the blue pill, esa. At some point, you're not going to use that. Why not? Because you're not. How do you Because if the woman's pussy's not working, you're not going to get nothing. How, how does it... Okay, so explain to me why wouldn't it work? Well, because you don't have that same libido. 
women lose their libido just like men lose their libido. Yeah, but there's many ways a woman can continue having a libido. Because if she it's, it's chooses. A, yeah, it's a lifestyle. If she chooses to. to. But again, there comes a time, That's why in I my opinion, in my opinion, I would like to do a survey. I would really like to do a survey on, I guess... Um, Everybody thumbs in, in up. The, like <laughs> marriage or, or marriage couple, couples, 70 and over, to see how much of them are, are having sex. But do you know that's, uh, that, that the biggest place to have... Um, <laughs> what is it? Is it syphilis? Is it in uh, old age homes? Because they're still <laughs> fucking. They're still fucking. I hate Read you, it. Right? I, yeah. I hate you. They right? are still... I don't think they're fucking. I just think that they're just... Finding I, partners. Okay. They go in single and then they just find partners. Okay, and they so how do, how do you get how do you get an STD? Like, fuck it. Hello? <laughs> it, it needs a tune-up, but always works. Well, yeah. You know, it, it, might, it, might, it might need a little, like, you know, it's like I'll a car. I'll say it. No, it's like in a car in the winter where you go in and you warm it up for like 15 minutes, so maybe that's what you need. <laughs> Sony said not working properly. <laughs> This is that That's is why, very true. Um, um, only Lorraine, I need you to I, I need you to elaborate. That is also that That's is why very it's true. So important, sex. Delegate that, said, "I'm a freak, so I enjoy it both times." What's both times? I don't know. That might uh, be a typo. Eso, eso, both ways. You like both it? You ways, go both, both ways. <laughs> you go both ways. Yeah, you know. Oh, <laughs> Alex said it. Just it depends how strong the alcohol is. Yes, yeah, he said that. But that's 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 why foreplay is Ooh, such a look. Ah, there you go. You're already in. The, you're practicing for tonight, so it's important that you have foreplay. Your foreplay game has to be very on point. Listen, listen. I believe also that foreplay bu- business that goes out the window when you're married. It's like let's just get into this. Let's make it happen and let's explode because we know what we want. We know how we're gonna get it, and we could change it up. But I also believe it. You know. When you're married, remember there's there's something that's it, 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 in my opinion. If you don't voice that you don't want, uh, or that you want versatility, you're going to get into a routine. Variety. Um, and, and you need to spice things up prior to just having sex. But you keep that whole let's fuck and let's roll over. Good night. No, no, no. Yeah, but you keep saying married. I don't think it's because... I'm in general, no, I don't I know, think that I, happens I, when I'm dating. No, I don't think it's because you're married. I think you I think, become complacent. I think when you get married, other things come with marriage. Like you said, kids, home. You know, you, you start growing. So Yves said facts. Elaborate on the facts, mama. Elaborate on the facts. I need you guys to elaborate so that we can really engage in what we're saying. Don't, because give, that, don't give half-ass statements and not want no, to No, it's not a everything. half-ass. It's facts. But I want to know what she's saying is factual. Right, because we're saying um, a lot of things. I right, because we're, we're saying a lot of things. You know, hell no for foreplay all the time. Has he been married? Have you? Are you married? He was, I believe. He was married? I believe. Was? I don't know. I don't want to put your business out there, so I'm not sure. That's up to you, bro. <laughs> I'm asking. All right, Cuzzo? I, I, okay, that's Primo? That's my Primo. Okay, so, so. Primo and Lube. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Single and married. You don't always need Lube. You could always use spit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, some people need extra lubrication. Right. And when women... Th- that's women, biological. Women, I'm going to tell you this. Women going through menopause, and I just know this from uh, you know a group of my friends. Women going through menopause, at some point... It is that like that change of life that you yeah, go. It's through. a biological change. Yeah, but that's that, something you can't control. You know what I'm saying? So it's we can't it's, control it. But I believe that there's um some type of there's remedies there's to reps. so once yeah. you pass that biological yeah. stage, you know. Yeah. I Facts. When he said older people get STDs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So no. Yeah. That elaborate when you when you're chiming in so that we know what um, you're agreeing with or not. Delegate. 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 Now I'm single. Now I'm ready. <laughs> um, the whole time I was married, me and my ex-wife did foreplay all the time. Okay, okay. that's good. That's very good. So then you never had like a, oh, she's doing the dishes and her booty look good. I'm going to bang her right here. Oh, I did that. I love doing that. Well, I'm sorry. there's no I, foreplay to I'm, that. I'm, yeah, but that's that's a spontaneous event right okay, there. Okay, but there's no foreplay to that. No, nah, but you're not going to have four. I'm not saying have foreplay every single time you have sex because then that just I didn't becomes, say that. That's what I'm saying. But foreplay, I said foreplay is important. Pay attention I, I, okay. to when I talk. Okay, okay, Alex said it also. No me hables así. Alex said it also changes when the woman has a kid. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's biological again, yep. yes. We got Zoe who said, it's who you're with. If you communicate with your partner, I just want sex tonight, not make love. They may just be with it. Absolutely. I'm an alpha bitch. <laughs> <laughs> VG said, Virginia said, nice. I'm an alpha bitch. I ask for exactly what I want. If you can't supply, then keep it moving. Keep it moving, Poppy. I mean, 
I, I listen, there are times when you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to drop my pants. You do what you got to do, and I'm going to find a dandy with it. He, he, that's like we got mood killers, cock blockers, the little monsters. <laughs> yeah, be quick. We got five minutes before the little monsters, mood killers, cock blockers well, walk yeah, in. You have to adapt because yeah. of your situation. And then married married life, usually, you know, you have kids, you got home, you have things that have to be done, you know. So I, I completely understand that. So Gilligaf said, Gilligaf said, at the moment, sex is great. But wait a minute. Are you sing- I'm, He's single? He's single. No, I'm single now. So sex single. is great and you're single? So sex wasn't, great, six, what, sex wasn't great when you were married? At, this, he, at the moment, sex is great. At the moment, so you have a friend, he has a friend with benefits. Okay, probably. so when is when is, when is is sex not great? <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're no longer feeling the person. Mm, okay. When it's no longer doing anything for you, because again... Mentally or physically? Mentally, you can... You, men, listen, here's what I say. Sex is the easiest part. You can have sex with whomever you want to have sex with. That is so fucking easy. Physically, yeah, right? you can. But then when you want more right. than just sex um, and you want that connection, that's when it becomes hard. Because yes. if I'm not getting that connection. If I don't get a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. You can. I mean, I think we can all agree that we can all have sex. Mm-hmm. We can all have it's sex. It's a physical act. That's all it is. Correct. Technically, that's it's just it a physical act. Absolutely. You know. Science, science 101 in grade school, it's just physical act. You know, the penis goes into the vagina and then the uterus and the sperm and all. You know. You're going deep into sex now. Bro, that's how I learned that's sex. That's not the only type of sex there is. I, I learned. I learn, There's not, that's not the only type that's of sex. That's sex education. The, that, but we're going to teach a different sex education now. <laughs> <laughs> the real sex education. Also, I'm not an educator. <laughs> I'm not an educator. I'm not an educator. But no, um, you know. And, and and it it gets hard. It gets really hard. I know that unfortunately, when it, and it happens a lot when you're not getting sick sex within your relationship, people start to question this themselves. Pe- people start to question. That's where insecurities start um, creeping in. Right. That's when the insecurities start creeping in. You know, there's a lot of people that when they gain weight, they don't feel sexy. Um. So there goes the sex, and. If he's not asleep 24-7. There's no such thing as 24-7 either. Explain sorry. Explain that. Explain sorry, that. VG. Explain I'm sorry. That. Any Anybody that says that they go every session three or four hours, you're <laughs> fucking lying. I, I got to agree. Lying. I got to agree with only Lorraine. A woman, a woman can easily have sex and fake it, but a man can't fake it. His wee-wee won't get up. Mama, his dick won't get up. Just say it. Um, yeah, it's true. It, that is absolutely true. We could fake orgasms. You guys cannot. We cannot. If you don't come, then the woman has to question herself and be like, what is going on? What? Yeah. You know, sex is an art form. Absolutely. It is. It is an art form, you know, and, but, and, and, you know, there are a lot of people that they just want to have oral sex and not have any other kind of sex. There's other people that just like to have anal sex and not any other sex. Um, it, it is what it is. It's well, a preference. Whatever it is. it is and what well, you enjoy. Oh, not true. I faked it before. How you fake coming? Yeah. I want to know how you fake coming. Because a woman knows when a man comes because then the cum comes out the woman. Hello. Or on the woman. If you're not wearing a condom. Or on the women because sometimes you just want to pull out and... Or on her face. On her breasts. <laughs> In her mouth. Men can fake it. Okay, explain. Explain that. Explain that. I need I it? need men to chime in. How can you Because I would fake like it? to learn. I would like to learn that shit. <laughs> you can't stop yourself from coming. <laughs> no, that's not that's not what the question is posed. How can you fake it? You fake it before with a lip dick. <laughs> what? Who said that? Oh, only Lorraine. <laughs> I can't see her comments. What does she do now? I don't know. Wow. I don't know. You're She's on here. Right? I'm on IG. Yeah, I'm on IG. Um, I I want to know. Yeah, we want to know. I want to know how men can fake it. Just, just for just real, because uh, that that that's gonna be a revelation to me. Because I mean, I, I don't. I know that they can control when they come by pulling out and just giving themselves like a, a mental breather. Um, but at the same token, I I really don't know. No, it doesn't always come out, Mia. How men have orgasms without coming? It does that is that possible? Okay, so Expe- explain. I'm gonna, ex- I'm gonna explain. Explain so. as a, from from a man that has a penis. So, in my experience, I've never faked it before with a limp dick. It was a question that only Lorraine had for me. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, I did the whole leg shake and ah. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Dilligan. I mean. I mean <laughs> 
the only way I the only way I can see a man faking is when if a woman is really into it and she's really moist down there that she, she can't she can't distinguish. But, but a man really can't like if a woman's riding you, I'm gonna come eventually. Well, here's my here's, I just I personally if have, you're using a condom, the man comes in the condom, right. and if you're a smart woman, you'll look at that condom right to see if he came. Number two, if you're not u- using a condom, when you're cleaning yourself, you know, you have, you, I know, personally, you, like, I'll push out and I'll be like, let me push you, out and let me cleanse can, and all that. You can so feel. You know. Um, you can so feel. So that's I'm, why, I mean, I know that you can, you know, do the whole, uh, uh, and, and the whole fucking shaking of the oh, leg women or whatever are, you do. Women but, obviously can't, and women obviously, but I don't see a man. Like, <laughs> I, I've, I've learned, it's called, it's BG, called. BG, excuse me, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying that, you know that statement you made with the no? I'm going to let people read that because I ain't going to say that. <laughs> oh, man. Men, men, men need to learn what is called dick control. You see, yeah, you see, only Lorraine, I'm with you. If I don't see come, we ain't good. I feel you on that one. I feel you. Yeah, I don't see her comments at all. Uh, uh, Lorraine, only Lorraine. You have, um, you have. Uh, no, but oh, I'm, maybe she. Are you following each other on your page? No, the, I'm on the Aces Up page. I know, but oh no! But, but if you guys are not friends, I don't think you'll be able to see each other. I'm not too sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. How many females oh, actually check guys come? Um, depends on the female. It depends on it the dep- female. It depends if the female likes it. Yeah, it depends on the female. Like, well, let's get back to the dick control. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's very important that <laughs> men learn that because it just men learn that what not to come. It's, oh, to learn how not to come. Yes, yeah, so you need. Yeah, you, they pull out and then no, they give themselves a mental it's break. Not, you don't pull out. No, no you don't start pumping. No, no, no. There's because I know if you be ridden, you motherfuckers have got no control. No, I see. That's where you need to then adjust the woman. Or you need to you then, throw her off of you. You swing. No, not throw. I mean, that, 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 no. But there's uh, there's there's pace. There's speed. Um, you can focus on another part of the woman where you know she gets really. That's excited what I'm saying. It's a mental. It. It's a it's mental a breather. Mental, That's why I call mental. it a mental. But you breather. don't. You never have to pull out. You can continue doing what you're doing and stimulating. But it's you have to focus mentally on something else and then continue. Right. Right. I know that. I that I know. You do. I do. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know it because I know uh, it. <laughs> you do. I, was like, yeah. I could be. I could be a man sometimes. No, uh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, tembleque. Oh my lord, tembleque, tembleque. Um, but yeah, no. I I think. I mean, sex is imp- is important. Yes. Um, the question. Okay, how many times in a week would you say it's normal to have sex? Normal. Let's be real. Yeah, but what's normal? I'm asking your opinion. My opinion? I, 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 I don't know. I, again, it belongs in a real... Like, okay, I'm going to go by what I've been, my experiences. When I've been in a relationship, um, and I've really been in a... We're good. We're in a good relationship. Normal for me <laughs> is... I'm laughing. Oh, Still a gaps 10 times a week. That's bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Flow said every day. It it it, it 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 varies. It varies, but in my ex- <laughs> ideal, I like. <laughs> Eva said, "Yes, Mia can be a man sometimes. I can't, right, boom." <laughs> like when I've been in a really good relationship, every day. Every day, how many times a day? Depending on how busy each of us were, so so let let's take. Alex said, so "It doesn't matter, Alex." With. Kids or without kids doesn't matter. It How doesn't, many times yeah, in a week? It doesn't matter. Like for uh, so we're gonna go to the normal. We work mon- uh, we work Monday to Friday, nine to five jobs, um, s- sex every night on the weekend three or four times. On the weekend three or f- wait, I'm talking about Monday through Friday. <laughs> Monday through Friday. If you if it if, if we're going by normal standards, right? Everybody works. So if nine you to live five, together and if you work, at least once a day. If you work nine to five, once a day. Yes, at least once. Okay. And Every then day. on the weekend? On the weekend, if not doing anything or anything like that, yeah, two or three times at least. Okay. In my in my experience, that's... <laughs> Lorraine, you're only laughing. I want to know why you're laughing. <laughs> Alex said, in the beginning, every day, we're kids living together plus life two to three, four times a week. 
Okay. Yeah, because you have to now allocate. You have to allocate time because you have responsibilities. So yeah, that's where well, the whole. I'm I'm gonna say you bullshit to my ten. I I mean ten in one week. That's not that's not really a. I think that's amount. in the beginning. No, because in the beginning you're like fucking two like dogs and heat and shit, and you're like I'm on twenty times a day if it goes like. There's times in the it went in the beginning when you're dating you're fucking everywhere. That must be different then. No, in the beginning when you're dating, you're f- fucking all the time. I don't know about you. But I was in a six year relationship, but as much as I fucked in the beginning, I fucked at the end as well. It didn't change, but we also but did. But something changed. We did. What changed? So nothing changed at all? No. So it was just as good. It got, six years. It got better. For six years. Yeah. And in the end, it was great. Yeah. So why are you not with the person? But because sex isn't uh, obviously not the only important thing in a relationship. That's it. But no, it just we're just talking sexually. It, it got... Yo no sé, pero yo tengo 42 años, so yo solo puedo un polvo al día. Eh, honestamente, you see? Oh, Virginia says she's moving. In. Your house? <laughs> All right, primo. And I, you see, primo, you being real. You see what I'm saying? Because it also comes with age. You um, feel what I'm saying? I understand. And I like I'm... that. I, un polvo, un polvo. I'm... <laughs> I'm 50 and I can go two or three times with no problem, but I have to be into you. You could go how many times? Two or three times a day. Two or three times a, a day. day. Yes. Ladies. No. <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> you I have mean, been warned. I, Thank you, Titi Evelyn. Yeah. I love you. Every, every day, five times a day. Oh, wait, Titi, I'm not going to divulge your age, but I know that you are much older than I am. And Titi just said, and Titi's been married for a long, long time, and she said every day, five times a day. Titi, please tell me that. Titi, <laughs> I, if that's the, you need, we need to talk it's, because you need to tell me qué carajo tú haces. Because yo quiero cinco días a la vez. Yo quiero saber eso. <laughs> like, understand, you ha, it, there me, to, me, me muero más de uno al día. Yeah. La asma, your asthma starts acting up flow. I, I got asthma. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Stop. Oh. I can't breathe. Oh, look at the Sony say, yes, Titi, yes. Yeah, my Titi just, yo, I'm like, I'm like five times. And, and she's been married for a very long time. I want to say, I want to say I'm, I'm about to be 50. I want to say Titi's in her late 60s. I and that's say. great because you you're into that person. So as long as you're into that person emotionally and mentally, it's important. And it's like that's that's how it that's how it manifests. Like, yeah, biologically, you know, there's things we can't control. But <laughs> she said, Titi loves you. I love you too, Mama. You need to share your secret with me. <laughs> look, look at super who. Oh, Benjamin I know. Malave. I know Benjamin Malave two to three times. Um, yes, yes, sir. sir. Okay. Yes, thanks. No, okay, okay. <laughs> Green eyes said, "Coño." That's healthy. Okay, but what's healthy, Delegaff? What What is healthy? The 10 times a day? Because, damn, Titi, you got a lot of energy. Shit. I see la vida. And Titi, I want to say my Titi's not retired. So that's with working. And correct me if I'm wrong, Titi, that's without you working. So that's some good shit. You know, it's, I mean, you have Theo, to be, Theo you, must be on cloud 155. You have to that. have optimal conditions as well. Like, my my case, there were no kids involved. It was just always me and her. So... The six years. Yes. So it's, it, we never had that type of distraction. And so we had time. We were always pretty much, it was me and her. Mm-hmm. So whenever we wanted to get it on, we got it on. See, that makes it easier. Mm-hmm. That makes it easier. But yeah, when you have responsibilities, you know, and then you have the stresses of the day that also come into play, the stresses of life. When you have medical conditions, that all comes into play. That's why when you said, you know, single, married, and you have kids, house, but then the kids eventually leave. Correct. We hope they leave and never come back, type of thing. Correct. Um, then it's just you and the, you and the other person. So then you know what transpired during all that time. <laughs> My aunt said, "There's nothing else to do." <laughs> she's 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 a big proponent of Netflix and chill. No, <laughs> Titi, you know what it is. I, I'm going back to the old days. How you know there was no television. The, the women, there was no television. So, so what people would do? All these families. Oh. Have, all these families have like 25 <laughs> siblings. My other Titi, which is her sister, said it's the yoga and the, the beach. beach. All right, okay. So I need to stretch and I need some sun and sand. All right, I get it. I got you. Yeah, so. I got you. I'm gonna add the wine to that. All right, my ladies. I'm gonna add the and she's retired. My Titi's retired. Okay. Awesome. Uh-huh. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I told you. I'm going to call you. We're going to take notes. 
word. <laughs> I'm not retired God, yet. God, God bless, bro. That, I mean, that works. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's an awesome connection that they have. So yeah, no, God bless, God bless. And, and, and they make a, they make a, 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 let me tell you, they're a sexy ass couple, sexy ass couple. I, I love them. We're good, we're good with that. Oh yeah, man. So I, you know, <clears throat> I keep kicking mine out or your kids. Your kids keep coming back home. All right, Rose is on. We have Rose 76. Yeah, so thank you always, for joining Sony's us. Sony's trying to get rid of her kids. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> so she can have sex? Freely? No, she, she still has sex, but it's just, you know. <laughs> How do you know she has sex? That's my girl. That's my homie. Oh, okay. I, I hope if, she does. I don't know. I don't know who, who she, with all due respect. She's part of the. I'm your ace. I know, but she's part of the, um, at the. The, the word that you don't like, the retard. Yeah, retard, I don't so. like that word. So don't, the, that's what we call each other. She's your high school friend. Yes. I okay. Should, even, no, not high school, junior high school. Junior high school. Even okay. Way back. He runs five. Oh, he runs five miles a day. See, so the life. I know he's in really good shape. So lifestyle that. is very important to keep those, the testosterone and estrogen levels. Benjamin run good. five miles a day, papi. Start, Papa, start with point five, okay? Put a point in front of that five and start there. Not five. He's up to five now, but he didn't start at five. You want to kill him, your husband, is that's what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, you, my you God. You want him to pass out and somewhere on the street. I'm like, we found him. You see, look, Rose 76, she has a three-year-old, and she said, I forgot what it feels like to have sex. Okay, but Rose, it's up to you, you know, to... Take your, your three-year-old, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not saying totally remove your three-year-old out of the bed because I know it's hard at that age to just rip a child out of your bed and, you know, force something to the bed, but there's going to have to come a time, in my opinion, where at least you're going to, you know, have her out of the bed at some point. It doesn't always have to be at night. Sex is not always at night. Okay, so I have a funny story. I'm going to speak about when I was married. So I was married. Um, I got married young. Um, had my first son, um, and she breastfed, and we did not have sex. You like that cheche too, right? Because <laughs> I know you breastfed too. Oh, I breastfed, <laughs> yeah. But once he was born, and she breastfed, and she stood home, and I worked, and I worked six days a week. I worked about 10 hours a day, and we lost complete connection because, honestly, we went almost two years without having sex. Wow. And then the time we had sex, then my second son was born because my legend was strong. Wow. And yeah, so my marriage when it came to having sex was very lacking. Okay. And it had to do, one aspect had to do because she breastfed and then once one got off, the other one was born and she continued breastfeeding. So it was like... We lost complete connection. That can, that's hard, though. And then because the thing that's is, something when before, that you need. Don't that. interrupt me. VG, let me finish my... And, but before we got married, we did, we did fuck like rabbits. We fucked in the car, parking lots, everywhere. And Before you got married. Before we got Key married. Keyword, before, yeah, before. Before, we got and I believe that that happened. And even when... And even... That's not... Even before my... Let's not even forget the married part. Before my son was born, we were still having sex. Because I know females, at least in my experience, when they're pregnant, they are, as they say, some because their hormones are, are flaring up, they are more, in my experience, more prone to being more sexually active or crave. I wouldn't know. I've been pregnant twice, and I didn't have sex throughout any of my pregnancies. Uh, one, because my husband was away. And then the first one, I was no. You know, we single. actually had we, had, we had more sex while she was pregnant than when we had sex when she gave birth. Which is, you know. It's, I think a woman feels very, very sexy when she's pregnant. So I think that that plays a role in it. In my opinion, that so. plays a role in it. And we have some more comments here. Uh, Rose did chime in. She said, my, my husband knocks out. Thank you, first of all. I want to say thank you, thank you to everybody for being transparent and sharing your stories and your experiences and not giving a fuck. That is amazing. Um, so kudos to all of you. But she did put, um, my husband knocks out before everyone in the house. Mama, pero despiértalo. Despiértalo. Tienes que despertarlo. Cogelo por la mañana, algo. Pero, yeah, but you know, what works for you works for you. The shower sex ain't, well, I want to know, Rose, how long have you been married? If you don't mind me asking. Alex said the shower sex ain't all that. That water be drying up, not pleasurable. Yeah. It's just, it it's, depends. it's difficult, slippery, and it also depends on physical um, attributes. What Dilligas said, get a mat and put it on the living room I, floor. I don't know. What, what is the it? I, I want to know what it is. Oh, when she's pregnant. What? 
I don't know. He's he's talking and writing and they don't. Then explica. You gotta explica. What you said, vegan? Vegan. I don't know. Ve- I don't know about vegan. And the great thing about having sex while you're pregnant, you can't get her pregnant. I still got <laughs> questions. <laughs> oh, Lorraine got questions for Titi. <laughs> Lorraine, I will pass on. Pass me the questions and I'll pass them on to Titi. Because trust me, me and you are here. I I need to know yeah. Titi's secret Rose's too. Rose's been married 11 years, two kids. You see, yeah. Okay, she's 11 years, okay, and two kids. I understand. But it's hard. It's hard, you know, once you reach a certain, and again, when you have kids and you reach a certain level, in my opinion, in your marriage, um, and and... You know, there's no versatility. It's all routine. Oh. It, it 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 becomes difficult. Yeah, <laughs> Titi needs to be a special guest. <laughs> Titi, you need to be a special super, guest. Super mega producer said, "No need to run, Mama. I got it. There you go. <laughs> I know, boo. I know you got it, Papi. I know." Um, Flo uh, said it has to do with health, lifestyle, work, kids, right. and much more yeah. on how many times you can be intimate with your partner. But I think one day at a one day at a time is okay. I think. Yeah. Yes, pregnancy sex. Woohoo, Yvette. Does that mean you're gonna get prego again, boo boo? But I think no, it's important. Kidding. I think it's very important to communicate each other's wants and needs when responsibilities um, kind of take precedent over personal pleasure and you know things of that nature. Because you know when you're single or before you get married, you have all the time in the world. Okay, so she's been with him for 11 years and married for two. Oh, you recently got married? Oh, I thought you were married okay. all this time. Okay. All right. And you, you That's know, my bouncer white girl. But why you got to bring the white? Why can't she just be a bouncer? Because that's why I was called. There's my bouncer white girl. She used to bounce at, at bars, and she used to kick people's ass. I need a, <laughs> I, I need her. a young buck. I love. Her. You need a young buck. Oh. Didn't have pregnancy sex or after either. You didn't have pregnancy sex, Zoe. Hmm, interesting. Um, but but no. Sucks I, to be you. I got used to using my toys. Okay, I'm a white girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for your transparency. Toys. That's a big one. Toys. Um, would I, and I, and this question is for women um, and men, I guess. When you, when you get into the toys. Don't be a racist. I'm not being racist. When you, that's, why, that's not being racist. That would be to being discriminatory. Uh, okay. Be so Prego sex. See, after that, I'm tired. Step off. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> that's my <my> thing. <laughs> Shit. Which when she was pregnant, she said, "Yeah, but after that, I, I understand tired. that because you know you yeah. are tired. You just you just you just pushed out this human being. Yeah, but out of Titi, your vajayjay. that's all right, Mama. That's all right because you do that ten times a day now, Mama. So that's all good. Yeah, she made up for it for what? the time that she wasn't. What I see that. Um, <laughs> she's funny. She said, "Toys don't get mad nor give you yeah, STDs." <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> facts. <laughs> But all right, so no, but but interestingly enough, let's just say toys. Toys come into play, right? And more often than not, um, you know, women, yes, tend to use their toys, and sometimes they just get into the habit of using their toys. Why? Because they don't want to go through all the the shenanigans of you know, I like toys. foreplay and all that other stuff. And a woman knows her body. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There, I mean, women can touch themselves, and it's like, boom, I'm I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? They know where to touch, what to do, well, where to no feel. One, there's no one that knows your body better than you do. I Yes, I know. I know. But at the end of the day, um, I'm not into toys. I've tried. I like real dick. <laughs> there's something sexy to me about a man's body and back. I'll play with toys if he watches and turns him on. Okay, at least you're compromising because that's another mm-hmm. thing that I do know. That men, yes, they enjoy. Um, I love that shit. They enjoy watching other women. Why is that? What? Why? Why do, why do men... Or people in general, like other people, watch them playing with toys. I don't think everybody likes. I'm a voyeur, so I like. Explica. A voyeur is a person that likes to watch. You're creepy. Not a stalker. <laughs> I didn't say stalker. You creepy. Yeah, so <laughs> you creepy. <laughs> but when you're in a relationship, it's not creepy. You know what I'm saying? And, my, and mind you, this is. Oh wait, but, wait, wait, wait. Let me clarify this. This is not. That I am, I'm talking about me. That I do this with everybody. Absolutely not. Toys are toys are an enhancement, not a replacement. It's 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 um, it's an awesome way to spice up your sex life. That's why my primo screaming right now because he's in all caps. He was in regular letters, but now Now he's in all caps. He said, "I use toys with my girl. Mm -hmm. It's healthy in the relationship. I spice up your relationship, and she enjoy it." Okay. 
Yeah, uh, Spider Woman. We know, Mama. The, we know. But see, <laughs> like, like Spider Woman says, but there's got to be that connection. Correct. If that connection is, you can't do it randomly or like when I was single, I never, I had sex. I didn't really incorporate toys. I had sex. I nutted, she nutted, and we went about our business. But when you're in a relationship or you're married, then that's when these things come into play because you have that con connection, emotional connection, mental connection. And that's what makes the toys and anything that you bring into the table that much more enhanced. Okay. All right. So. Or other people, you know. I had that relationship, too. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, I do know you people. I, I do know, you know, um, people who enjoy bringing others in their, into their relationship. And I and that's fine. You know, if that, that's what they like to do, that is perfectly fine. Yep. Um, you know, hey, this, I know this, men. Disclaimer, men, men, if you want a woman if you want a threesome let's talk let's talk let's that's talk that's easy for a man to get threesome no, no, i'm going to tell not, you why can i explain this one i'm going to tell you why explain it women have a connection with women yes point blank end of story mm -hmm. if you're close and you have a connection with a woman i wouldn't put it past these women getting sexual with one another honestly I, I, honestly it's happened it's happened and 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 i know you know personally you know i personally i've kissed Friends, you Patty, know, I've Patty, kissed women. Patty has a perfect toy for you. Mia, I you know. have a perfect toy for you. <laughs> you got a, you got a perfect toy for me. <laughs> okay, Rose says she's done three sums, but he's only into sex when it's that time and done. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not into bringing other people. I will cut a bitch. <laughs> No. She's selfish. See, okay, see, there you go. See, but this is the thing. Okay, see. That was, it, Alex. That this was is, Alex. This is a disclaimer, men. If you want a threesome, and if you're in a relationship. And this is only if you But wanna, why is this for only men? Why can't it be for men and women? Because I can I can only speak on my experience. I'm speaking for a men's point of view. Well, you could give pointers to women. I I, I, I can. I mean, women will get whatever I'm going to give. So you the problem with many men that want a threesome is because they insist on having a threesome. And in my experience, the threesome has to happen organically. It has to happen naturally and it has to come from your partner. It can't come from you because, remember, then you deal into with insecurities. Because now it starts with the, you want to cross the you, line, you're not yeah, happy with exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. So you have to allow, the first move has to come from your partner. Okay. It has to come from your partner. If you're in a very healthy relationship. We'll talk, Patty, we'll talk. <laughs> if you're in a very, very healthy relationship, then, like, I was in a relationship at one point where it was, we lived that life. And but after it, she initially suggested it and initiated it, but once we got comfortable and lived that life for a while, I was then able to then initiate certain aspects of that. But only then, once we were established. But initially, men, you keep harping on a woman unless she's a complete freak, or unless she outlight she tells you, you cannot suggest, hey, let's have a threesome. Because you'll never get it. I agree with Sonny. Um, if he wants a female, male, female, I want a male, female, male. And here's the thing. That is very difficult for men. And I want to know why. You're a man. So answer, not, that, answer that riddle for us. Okay, why is it so easy to bring in a female and engage with that female and the person you're with? But, but when it's the other way around, it's like, no, bitch, you're not bringing no other man into this bed. I can't answer that question because I don't believe in that. Has that, have you ever done, well, you don't believe in what? I don't believe in bringing another man into the bed. Yeah, I don't No, I no, not that I do. I, I do believe in that. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I, I don't believe, I can't answer that question because I don't have that belief. If I can, if I can, if we're in, in that type of relationship, if I can suggest, Hey, I would like another woman. My partner has every right to ask me, Hey, but I would like, I have a fantasy of have having two men. Yes. Okay. So it's not, I'm, but you, don't, but you haven't engaged with the man. I'm, I mean, oh, I no, I getting, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't engaged with the man, right. but, but it, it's customary in my opinion that when there's a female, male, female, right. The male wants to get in with both females, but then when it's two men and a female, then the two males won't engage. No. Right. Especially if they're not into that. No, but I, in my experience, women want two men be, uh, for various reasons. Nelson, they, you're stuttering. <laughs> They want, they want, um, they want uh, a few things. Well, they want double penetration, real penetration, not a toy and a penis. So they have that, but they also want the four hands on them. 
in you know a woman's body is very sensitive and and you start touching and all that stuff so four hands are always better than two obviously <laughs> <laughs> you know so but it's understand you have to be in such a mature mental state my i don't i'm not interrupting my mindset porque los latinos son quien es más macho it's facts well, that is facts yes yeah, and it's not only latinos because there's a there's a lot of cultures that you just don't don't vibe that way and it's you have to have some type of open mindedness when it comes to that as a, as a man you really do i'm i'm as open minded as you can get <laughs> i'm sorry to say but it's for the most part yeah men don't don't see it as Mm, no, another man. They don't, no. they don't see it as appealing. Because they don't <clears throat> get, as a man, you don't get anything about having another man involved. But understand, the, the, this is where the mental aspect. When there's two men involved and there's one woman, it's not about you. It's about her. So if you put her and her needs and her fantasies first... Then that then it will happen. And trust me, man, if you put your if you put that woman, you put your partner first, bro, that woman will do what will move, that, what will move that heaven's mean? earth. What does that mean if you put your woman first? Okay, so I'm I'm a big proponent when it comes to sex that you need to make sure that your partner is satisfied. You learn as much as what turns them on, what doesn't turn them on. And, pl and pleasure. That's just me. It's I. I. I rather have. I want to learn about the woman. I want to learn about my partner. What your your kinks are. What everything. It, everything that entail. Because I process that, and then I am always. I'm a giver. I want to make sure that you're satisfied in every aspect. Whatever it is that you want. Whatever you know. That's that's the way I think of it when it comes to sex. Because I understand that if you give, you give, you give, that woman will feel secure in that relationship and will do almost anything for you in that relationship because you've established the foundation of security with that woman. So then there's no doubt or anything of that nature. So like if you end up in a threesome with two women, she won't feel that jealousy if it does happen. It's, that's just me. <clears throat> But you can't be see sex is not is you can't be selfish with sex. Would you say that though that that there there can be that possibility where a man does get greedy and once he has that that experience once and I'm I'm talking about female male female once he has that experience once that he then would constantly be bringing up or wanting for it to happen yeah, whether it's organically or not because a man all of a sudden <laughs> if he gets two girls yes I'm the man I got two bitches yeah. But it's men don't understand it. When, even if even only only Lorraine said I don't share. Period. But Lorraine, and I'm going to pose this question. So you won't share, and that's perfectly fine, and that that's that's great. But but if if it doesn't involve your husband, if it only involves you and someone else, would you go there? Um, we do have some comments. Patty said a man wants to own wants to be the only dick in the room, but wouldn't mind two pussies. So selfish, laugh your ass up. Well, that's why facts. I said that is sex facts. cannot be selfish. It cannot be selfish. Absolutely not. But and then where comes then where comes the the when now let's just go into the relationship, and 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 we're, I'm going to talk about long term relationships as well as well as married relationships. Then where comes, and I know that it's an understanding between the two individuals, but then. What, where's the boundary when it comes to the sanctity of the relationship in the marriage or in the relationship? Right. Because, and, and I'm not, I'm not, it, it's not about religion. So that's not what I'm going. I'm not going, you know, but you have, you have, um, a non-exclusive relationship and well, it's not really a non-exclusive. I also would say it's an exclusive it's relationship. It's, it's, right. it's, you have a, 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 an exclusive relationship and there's this, the meetings of the minds that this is just you and I, and then you bring this third person in and that can bring a lot of problems to your relationship. Right. Right. So Especially, I mean, you don't know how you're going to react after the fact, but then you don't know how that other person's going to react. Cause they can, they may want more, so right? It I'm, could be a one-time deal, but they may wait, wait, they may want more. So we have here, um, Flo is saying, um, well, if a man has low sex drive, I suggest to drink CMOS, okay? Tasha said, it's I an understanding between the two. It's all about boundaries, facts. Uh, Flo said, I just, I just don't want my dick bumping heads with another dick. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we scroll down there? Because I see somebody says punto. No. Up on the top. No. Up on the top. Go up. Uh, well, if a man, no, that one. Pues, ponte a cocinar, a limpiar, a trabajar, a lavar ropa y déjame descansar y boom. I'm nice and relaxed and ready for you and your friends. Punto. <laughs> So, <laughs> there goes Titi again. You so, on fire tonight, Titi. I love it. I love it. So, Titi's on fire. She to, came to at an, it again. To answer your question, <clears throat> as you read the comments, right? So in that instance, I'm talking about I'm talking about sex and love. So you're. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but only the rain. She responded to me. Shut up. She responded to me and she said, "Are we talking sex or love? Because I've experienced a lot. But if I care about you, I'm not sharing. And I get that. There has to be a discussion about what the boundaries are." Um, and then someone, and Rose said, very true. Th this is what I'm saying. It can happen, but there has to be boundaries because there are people that then tend to get greedy and they then think this is how our sex life is going to be from this point so forward. So this is what happened with me in that relationship. We, sp we spoke about it. She felt comfortable enough with me that she decided to divulge her fantasies and what she's always wanted, sexual cravings or whatever. So we spoke, we sat down. I'm writing Virginia. <laughs> we sat down and spoke about, okay, what are the parameters if we are going to go forward with this, right? So that's why it was, an, it was established that anything that was initiated, she would do first. And I'm, uh, I'm cool with that. And you let me know what I can and cannot do. Let me know. And that way, like when we were... In the act, I, I would ask her, is it okay? Like, literally, we'd make eye contact and then, you know, or I would take direction from her. I'm like, yeah, do this, do that. Okay, I take great direction. <laughs> I'm like, you want me to do this? I got you. You want me to flip over? I got you. You want me to do I, I take great direction. That's not a problem. But it was established. Unfortunately, insecurity creeped up on her even though I never initiated anything because some of the females that she, that, that she got were feeling me. And then that laid into some of her insecurities. I'm like, damn, she's feeling him a lot more. And then if I'm doing my do with her, she's feeling a certain way because, Oh wow. She's getting a little extra and, and all this other stuff. So that's where, and I had to like, yo, we can't do this anymore. Okay, so we have responses here, and one of the responses, I can't see the person's name, so you have to scroll down a little bit, um, <clears throat> is uh, Tasha. She says, yes, there has to be boundaries, um, and you just can't, you can have that threesome, but you can't invite that female back again. Uh, we do have here Rose. So Rose, um, and again, I'm going to repeat myself again because transparency is very important, and you guys are bringing it to us to us today and um so you know i thank you i know nelson thanks you as well uh, so rose did say i'm in a trio i'm in a trio relationship married and he has a girlfriend that we share that was great in the beginning but now it's boring um you know and and that's like that's what's mad the, respect bo what, what's the boring part what's boring about i don't know but Nelson always sounds suspect <laughs> you know who said that lorraine, lorraine. <laughs> nelson doesn't know what what's up what I can't. Nelson I have doesn't know what to do because you are actually listening. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. Um, but I do want to touch on something. So you said fantasies. In my opinion, a fantasy doesn't have to be fulfilled over and over and over. Once you do it once, and if it's what you fantasize about, right, and if it met your expectations, then it is what it is. Now, when it becomes repetitive, right, and something that, Either you both want for a while or you don't. I think that at some point, you know, it crumbles. And what I mean by that is that at some point, somebody says, I'm done with this because it's not as good as it was. And I may be touching on um, Rose's point, Rose 76, where she says um, that at the end of the day, it got boring. I can't. Right? I, and I, 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 I think can't so. With these, I can't with these two. And I, I think I think it's I think that's fair to say. And I, and I can see where in the beginning it's exciting you know what I mean? But then th I think the emotional aspect of it then gets involved. It creeps. Yes, it creeps in. The, the insecurities creep in and then somehow if one or another decide, you know, that's where the issue is like, I'm like, yo, I'm, 
I'm done. But, you know, there's people that, there's plenty of, listen, I have fantasies that I still haven't fulfilled yet, and I have an amazing imagination. It's on your bucket list? On your bucket uh, list? My bucket list. So it's just, uh, you know, it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of personal preference. And you, I mean, you also have to, within the relationship, you have to also, you know, how far would you go just to, to, to make your relationship work? You have to, you have to have such a strong foundation. And that's why I say as a man, as a man, you have to be a giver. Um, I'm sorry. The, the woman has the pussy. She, she runs the world type of thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just is, but you have to be a giver, especially if you're in a relationship. Uh, like I, I want to make sure that my partner is as happy as she can be, especially sexually. You know what I'm saying? There's a, a, a other parts of the relationship that are different, but you know, sexually it's something that I can control, but you have to listen and, and, and learn and be observing and communicate and ask questions and, and make sure you always, they always come first. Okay. Um, so we have here, Patty said, been there, done that, not interested at this point in my life. I must say, though, I gained two very best friends out of it over 15 years of pure friendship. And that's that's respectable. Uh -huh. You know, that is respectable when, when you can engage with someone. And, and, you know, and I would say it, I've, I've engaged with women and I've been there and done that. Um, you know, not within the, within my marriage, Sucia. not within my marriage, <laughs> but we've remained good friends, you know, and we've remained respectable. Hi, my flock. I love you, baby. How are you? You don't have to come go. You can How go. was work? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Theo. But you, did, did you Hi, see my, my face? Flaca. I love you, mama. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? How was work? Good. You know, I'm not going to force it, but I know since you're already here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> You're off tomorrow, right? Yes. Me too. <laughs> We're all home tomorrow. Um, hey, my primo's out all the way from Vieques. What's up, David? How are you? Pito, Pito. I, I'm calling you your government name, but Pito. Um, yeah, because you like giving people's government names out I to know. the Well, public. no, his government name is there. It says David. All right. So, and then we have here on, on IG, my God, you guys are coming at us with comments and and giving us everything. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, you know, Sony, I like that. Here's to, so here's to successful entangle entanglements. Oh, yes. Successful awesome. entang entanglements. entanglements. Yes. Let's yes. Not have the pronunciation problem that you had last week. Okay? Finding love on episode eight. No, I'm good today. I'm Hello, really good. Eddie, Eddie. Hello, Eddie. What up, Ed? Um, you need a, bo you need a boyfriend laughing out loud. Rose needs a boyfriend. But do you want to, yeah, look at that whole freaking <laughs> comment. They're going, this one's, and she's but, looking. But Rose is, Rose is, first of all, Rose has her man and she has a woman and, and she, she picks, said, and she, so picks she'll, she picks the woman yeah. and she picked the girlfriend. But she's good, also good looking, looking too. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's getting the best of both worlds. Good stuff. Like Hoops it. in the house. Hoops in the house. Well, I, some Lisey's, I have my cousin also, Lisi here. Hi, Mama. Some, Hi. Yeah, I guess some friends have If you guys are developed. just joining in, our topic today is sex. All right? And, and, and we're just getting, actually, we're, we're not even, I don't think we've even hit the top yet. Um, oh, not at all. Because I haven't it, even answered the question. If you ever was to get into another relationship, if it's I, for sure. sure if she. I ever get into another relationship, it's for sure going down. All right. Good down, stuff. Down how? Down. She's going to have a threesome. She'll be open to it. Okay. That's very respectable. Oh, I, I, I pick I, me. Me. I Mary. Pick. Me. Explain, Lucy. Uh, explain, explain, Lucy. Explain. explain. Explain because. We read know. well, but Miri. Voice to text. I don't know. No, I think I think in general, you know, everyone has a right to engage um, with who they want, how they want with their partner. It's very respectable, you know, as long as you're honest and you're open and um, there's that understanding. And once, you know, my fear is once it crosses that boundary and, and everything goes to shit, that's where, unfortunately, you know, I think that's where it gets it gets hard, you know. Um, and I think it, it will get hard Pause, no pun if, intended. It's, if it pause. <laughs> Pause. I think it would get hard. It gets hard um, if it becomes Rose, a, bad I am, a bad habit. I, Rose, I'm not babysitting for you. Sorry. How many relationships last after bringing others into their bedroom? I guess those, that's a question, Christina. Um, hi, baby. That we need to ask those that have actually done that. You know, um, bringing someone into bringing the bedroom. Someone in. Bringing someone into the bedroom does not. <laughs> They're does, asking you to be a babysitter I'm so not, you can go have sex. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> my babysitting days are well they're not done because i just got i just became a grandfather on saturday so again so 
So oh, congratulations. I got, I got three. He's so cute. Yeah, He's a, the grandpa. Well, so a lot of boys. Uh, Zoe, yeah. it, that has to get established in the beginning. In the beginning of what? Because in the beginning, when you're meeting somebody and you're engaging in a, in a relationship or you're working towards building a relationship, I don't think you have that top that conversation. I do know. Not yes, the, the no. conversation always comes up. Have you ever been with a woman? Men always like to know if a woman has been with a woman. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. We don't ask men, have you ever been with a man? I don't know why either. We don't. We should start asking that, um, especially nowadays. But um, <laughs> it's, it's facts. It's facts. facts. It's facts. You know what facts. I mean? Because we now have people who are pansexual and they love people. Um, and, and they want to do what they want to do. And, and, and it's, we have bisexual individuals and that's perfectly fine. Um, so it's a question that, yes, that we should start posing out to, to, to men. You know what I mean? When a man asks you, hey, have you been with another woman? Mother Effa, have you been with another man? I have let's, not. Let's, be, let's keep it real. Um, but, yeah, you know, I think it's great. Now, I'm going to pose the question that I asked to you earlier before the show. <laughs> Why do you like eating pussy? <laughs> I Why? Mean, what makes you want to eat pussy? I just want to know. Like, if I put a pussy in front of your face, is it, like, automatic, like, oh, my God, I'm going to eat it? Now, like a piece of cake? I, I want to know. I'm gonna, I want to know. All right. So I'm going, to, I'm going to answer this on my experience. Now, the actual act of eating <laughs> isn't as enjoyable. Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> Titi, I need to know, Titi. I need Listen, to know. Listen, the act of actually giving head or eating pussy is not enjoyable. Just the act itself, right? It's not enjoyable. It's not, I agree. It's not an enjoyable thing. I agree. You, you got to put it, 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 it. Is, it is a selfless act. Now, in my first of all, you can't give head or eat every woman or man out. That, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. You do the sniff test. You do the finger test. You do the investigation. You do test. the finger test and then the you, sniff test, and but it, that's still you pull back and you make sure. Yeah, but you, no good coming. And, and you and you still don't do that. Like I, I it's. You said presentar. So then, it's about sex, mama. Yeah. So when I've been in a relationship, I have enjoyed it because I love the way my partner has responded to it. And so you do it to get to see their response, their and response to, to see how, if they're pleasured they, by how it. they how it makes them feel, how they react, their body, um, their reaction, everything of that nature, and that's a turn on for me when I see that what I'm doing is exciting my partner. So that's an amazing turn on for me, and then I can just oh, all right, let's go, you know. But that's that's just me. But do you like it? I know you just, I know you said, I know you said in a relationship, it's not okay, enjoyable. So, no, but so, so when I've been in re- it's kind of like, okay, it's not enjoyable, but it, you'll it, do it just to see if it, there's a reaction. It's not like frosted, it's not like frosted flakes. It tastes great. You're yeah, great. No, it's not like that. <laughs> so I, I've heard plenty of times this shit tastes great. So they're fucking lied to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's some bullshit. There has never been, Okay. Full transparency. There has never been, in my experience, there's never been a pussy that I tasted and licked and said, shit, this tastes like Skittles. Yo, never in my puta your D- life. Your never, DM never. is going to go a blast if any of your ex is on here. Mother effer, you told me my shit tastes good. So, to, 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 Where's the button? Where's the button? Fairy where? tales and lies. Where? Fairy tales and lies. Now, <laughs> to counteract, <laughs> to counteract all of that, you know, you bring things like food, syrup, chocolate, <laughs> whipped cream. Um, you could take breath mints and put them on your tongue. That's a hey man. That's a, a life hack. Take, Yo, take, my cousin take those says, lists, take, I love eating toto. <laughs> take, <No. laughs> take take the Lister mint mint and put it on your tongue. Let it dissolve and then eat eat, eat a pussy and see how the reaction is. But mm, no, I have never tasted anything that it was like. Damn, this shit is delicious. So okay, so. Again, so it's not that you like it; it's just that you the do actual it, act. I no, you not, do it to 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 pleasure the woman in the event that she it's what she likes. Because there are women that don't. No, I, I don't like. I've had women that do not like. They told me, no, don't go down there. I'm like, oh, okay, my bad. I wonder why that is. I don't know. It's and I I I have a theory about that. I think <laughs> they had some type of bad experience. Correct. And, I agree with that. And then uh, the guy didn't know what to do. And that's why you got to listen. You got to pay attention. The guy didn't know what to do. But if the guy's not down there, I mean, there's no way of knowing, you know, unless they, they stop him. 
Well, then also there's also communication because there's women that get ple- <laughs> there's women that get pleasure from their clit. And there's women that get pleasure from their lips. I think every woman gets pleasure from their clit. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't have a clit, so I, I don't play with myself, so I can't tell you that. But I'm just... Te voy a comprar una muñeca. I'm just, Te voy a comprar un toto. I'm just... I'm just well, yo, Flo, <laughs> send, me, send me that pic you said you put up the other day with the helmet. So I'm just I'm just trying... To, uh, I'm trying to just... That's how you get... You talk Hi, ab- Nada. How are you, mama? You talk about sex, and that's how you learn. You you learn a woman's body. Every woman is different. Everybody, what works for one does not work, doesn't mean it'll work for another. And men have that concept that if I pound and I, I go in and the clit, every woman is going to be. Every woman is different. I know that for a fact because every woman that I've been with has been different. And what works for one doesn't work for another. It's That's plain and plain as day. Okay, I, I have another question. And, All right, and this let's is because go. I want to know. What what do you think women get out of having fingers poked into her all the time? Well, it's the way you poke the fingers, first of all. But why? Because, you again, you think that a woman is pleasured by that? I know. I've My finger game is tight, so <laughs> no pun intended, but... I see. I've I've learned. I've learned. Remember, the the G spot is like when you go here and then you curve and it's you know it's there. So, but then that's you really how, took sex education uh, in school, bro, really, really. Uh, like you sat there and you were like, nah, "This is the most I'm learning today." Bro, I, I did a lot of hands on training. <laughs> but again, it's listening to a woman. And having that conversation, and you can't finger it. every woman. It depends on her. I right, agree. but that's why no you have poke, to- stroke, tap, and all that. Sony, uh, Sony, I agree as well. So it's you have to listen to a woman. And can I have the mouse because like you just bogart it unless you're going to control because it. Because I was controlling. All right, so it. control it, control it. So yeah, you have to. But that's when you have conversations like that's pillow talk. I don't know about who you've been with, but Mike. Cuca tastes like wine. <laughs> Mira, Cuca. Who the hell Cuca. Cuca. Patty, okay. I'm going to be dirty now. You know I love wine. <laughs> oh, man. That's, oh, wow. Okay. Mine is Yomo. Listen, Yo. they're, all, they're all like, they beg to differ. They beg okay, to differ. Okay, that's, uh, that, that's fine. I'm, I, hello, I spoke on my experience. Sorry. Spirit, Spirit fingers. fingers. Temperature check. <laughs> Nelson is all hands all on All day, deck. every day. All day, every day. <laughs> Oh man, you guys! Uh, he, he, listen, you gotta have like I've had plenty of episodes. Dillagaff driving. loves wine. <laughs> white only, not red. Okay, white only. We only have white wine here, not red. No red wine here. White wine. Okay. I like I like good wine. Pinot Grigio. No, as long as it's good wine, I love wine. So, no, I not in her it. case. It's, she said, "Oh, you oh, know, it tastes like Pino- wine, so I let it be Pinot Grigio." Pinot Grigio, and not a Malbec. Have you tasted your own? Are you talking about if I've tasted my own pussy? Who said that? I, I'm going to be real. What men do is they stick their freaking fingers in your pussy and then they want to put it in your mouth and in their mouth. So I want to say yes. And if they're sucking your pussy out and then they kiss you, yes, you're going to taste your own pussy. Right? No, but I think she's more referring with you when you pleasure yourself. Do you then taste yourself when let you her, come? Let her explain. Oh, <laughs> I was just, maybe that's what she was leading toward. I don't know. I'm reading let between the lines. Let her explain. Explain, Zoe. Explain. So that, I love that, all colors of wine. Colors? colors? Moscato. Moscato. Um, what is Lisi? You see. Lisi. Go ahead. You, well, all you right. can't ready. Lisi says, you see, if you tell me you don't like to eat and you go down on me, I'm not going to enjoy it only because I know. Right. So the mental aspect right there, that's that pillow talk. That's that conversation that you. And then again, I think sex is a selfless act like you have to and i keep saying you know i like to pleasure my partner but it goes both ways a woman also has to listen to a man and see what he likes or what he doesn't like i've had plenty of women that give me blowjobs and some sucked they what they give you blowjobs blowjobs they give me (laughs) blowjobs i've gotten i've gotten gotten blowjobs and some women have been great and some women just haven't and it's just some women don't know how to give because they don't. BJ's, you get better at BJ's the more you practice. Just a life hack, women, okay? So the more you do it, the better you get at it. <laughs> life hack. <laughs> okay, it's a life hack. <laughs> right? Right, Super Mega we are talking about life hacks, right? So th- another life hack for, for you know, you women here. I gave one for the men, here's for the women. But again. And no teeth. 
Again, some, 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 some men, men like Some teeth. men enjoy the scraping of the teeth. But that's the pillow talk. That's what you need to have. You have to have these conversations, and that way you learn from each other, and that way you know, okay, she doesn't like this, she doesn't like that. Like you said, some women don't like getting getting eaten out. And that fingered, li- fingered, fingered. Or fingered, fingered. Maybe because some dude had freaking... Frankfurter fingers and stuck three in there and it wasn't pleasurable. That's like, but that's like saying like that. Yeah, but that's like a woman having her first experience of having sex was was a guy that had twelve inches and it was painful for her. And then she's like, "Oh, I'm not having sex anymore." But then has someone that had a normal penis and all of a sudden sex was great. That bad experience was like, "Yo, I'm not doing twelve anymore, but I can do seven. Okay, you know. But again, it's just having that communication of opening like. I, I learned. I, I I took classes that I learned. <laughs> you took classes? What do you mean you took classes? Well, you can, like... You, I mean, it's good to take classes. On, on uh, Like, on the internet, there's a fountain of information, and YouTube is a, a fountain, fountain of, of information. information. And YouTube is a fountain of information, but it's about listening to what women like and don't like, and every woman is different. So you need to... Like, when you, you get into a relationship, you need to get to know your partner. In and out. Jewish women are born with the talent. Pito. <laughs> what talent? What's this talent? I need to find a Jewish woman? Is that what you're telling me, Pito? Is that what it is? I, uh, <laughs> why do men like the sloppy? Evie, Evie wants to know, why do men like the sloppy? Okay. Not all every man like the sloppy. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is something. Hey, you can say it. See, yeah, some men, again, we, when, when we say things, we can't generalize that. Um, for me, I for me, I like. Sony said Nell has had much practice. <laughs> see again. So see right here, we have someone in the green room that doesn't like a sloppy. I do Just like super mega producer. Super mega like producer doesn't like it. I like the slop. I love the sloppy, and it's because I'm a voyeur. I love looking at that. I like seeing that. It's a turn on for me, and that's just me. You're you divulging know? all your sex secrets, you know. No, I will never divulge all my sex secrets. Sorry. Okay, all right. I'm still waiting for the Jewish, the my, Jewish explanation because I'm ready to yo, go to a... My se- cousin Pito uh, has me dying. He I, said mamando. Uh, oh, really? Oh, <laughs> Jewish shit. women are born with the talent of mamando. <laughs> no, well, no, not really. Well, I can't I say... I it's never, across the board. I've never been with a Jewish woman before that I, that I know of, but so I can't, I can't okay. speak on that. Okay. But again, it's a... It's a mamando is a, pra- is a practice. The more consistent you get with it, the better you get at it. But again, if you do, as a man, if you don't tell your partner, I don't like this, and you only do it because you don't want to hurt her feelings, you're going to hurt your own feelings. And your the, the connection is going to be broken. I've told women, yo, you can't. I've told women when they've given me head and they're doing it wrong, no, I don't like this, and they, they're they not taking you, direction. You stop them like I right stopped there? them, stopped them, stopped them. I said, no. That's like a blow to the ego. No, no. But I didn't say stop. So what do you say? You'll be like, mama, ven acá. So no, I grabbed her hair. I pulled her up. I have kissed her. Like, yeah, she had her penis in my mouth and I kissed her. And, <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Like if I, we there, we there, I don't care. But I'm going to grab you at. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I meant she. Maybe that's a fantasy. Maybe it's a fantasy that I'm not, you did know. You, did he really say he? Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> first of all, yeah, you can't just tell a woman and she's she's actually on her knees giving you head. It's like, yo, you stop. You suck. That's that's just disrespectful. But, yeah, there's different ways of doing it. Yeah, I've grabbed the girl. I said, here, come kiss. And we go at it and stuff like that. And then later on at an appropriate time, I was like, listen, uh, I don't mean to, but, you know, this is the, the kind of the way that I like it and so forth and so on. And then obviously that was take that was taken by her differently. Like, oh, OK. But if I would have told the to stop, I would have never said I've never had head ever again. But remember, it's like just like a woman is different. A man is different. Women really. should never fake it. Makes men think they did something right. Makes sense. True. True. You know, I mean, at the end of the day. There's so much about sex that we can discuss over and over and over. Um, no, cause oh, I, I don't go both ways. I don't have it. Any, just any say fantasies. it, cause just I still it. love you. <laughs> <laughs> but 
We'll all still love her, Ay, right? Menopausa. Estoy caliente. Espérate. Ay, Ay. tú tienes menopausa. Don, don, ponte marica. I'm hot. I'm hot. That I'm was hot. that was a hot topic for you. Hot. <laughs> fucking mega super mega producer is the one that has to fucking point that shit out. <laughs> Yo, we gotta negotiate, renegotiate your contract, fucker. It, well, it was like when we were watching RuPaul's the other day, and I told you, I said you would be a fucking fabulous goddamn oh, drag queen. Oh hell, fucking yeah, fucking I'd be a fucking fabulous drag queen. I'm Fabulous! I be fierce. Two snaps and a twist. What? Look at that! I'll Two have snaps them, and a twist. I'll have them eating out the palm of my hand and eating out of other places too. <laughs> Fuck that! I, I love it. I love. I keep hitting my head on. <laughs> That's pr- you're being you're practicing. That's what it is. Oh man! Yo, you ate your pineapple today? I'm just Whoa. letting you know. <laughs> Tea bag me, baby. Tea bag me tonight. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh, but shit. yeah, I mean, and and again, sex is a, is one of those topics. I know sometimes people don't talk about it. It's hard to talk about, and it's hard. You to, just said it. They don't talk about it, and that's why a lot of sex, a lot of relationships. Well, but I'm referring to long term. But because even again, I think that in the beginning. Sex is always on and popping. It's more, it's more um, feral. It's more animalistic when you first feral. Feral, yeah, you, feral. You like, like that usage, that word. Feral. So it's more animalistic in the beginning because it's just straight out hormones raging and all that. But once you settle down into some type of consistent lifestyle, you know, or you know, family life or anything of that nature, now you have to be more cos- cognizant of allocating time for your partner, but that comes with communication. Everything comes with freaking communication, Mm -hmm. you know? So if you don't talk about it, you're never going to know what your partner likes and and vice versa. That's Mm -hmm. all it is. It's true. It's true. Uh, um, You know, now let's talk about sex and, and the seriousness about sex and the risk that you take about sex with sex. Right. Um, And, and that comes into the, the, into play when you're not having, um, you're not using protection and for whatever reasons things happen and you end up with an STD. Now, what would you do in a situation where you, you have an STD and you meet somebody and you want to explore with them, but you're scared to tell them this is what my situation is. It's, it's it's a difficult and it, it all leads to how open-minded the other person is. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we're in a climate where most people are not open-minded. They're ignorant. They're not open-minded. They're also ignorant. And remember, ignorant does not mean stupid. Ignorant means they don't know all the information. So when you don't know all the information, you know, what, what most people do, they, they make a choice on emotion. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And then they judge. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, oh, you got an STD. You dirty. Right. No, I mean, there's just so many ways of getting an STD. There's, you know, and people have been in relationships that have not been told. And there's so just so Dilla many Gav variables. Said, Dilla Gav said, be honest if you want the relationship to go further. Right. I agree. I agree. I think that's something that onset when you're getting to know someone and you know that you're vibing with them, right. that it should be just put out there. And it's it's the other person's choice. You know what I mean? Because the other person's dealing with their temple, their body. It's the other person's choice. And who knows? You know, you never know when the other person may just come out and say, hey, me too. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and it's all fine and dandy. And yeah. then you could go on and on with it. So, But you know. SC, the thing is with STDs, like from the beginning, from HIV and AIDS and all that, it's it's been stigmatized. It's it's been labeled. It's been frowned upon. It's like oh you have a, like you have HIV. You're dirty. You're a nasty person. You're the scum of the earth, and that that's so so disrespectful to the person. That's so wrong, um, you know. And it's you have to be an open mind with things. There is a misconception, and I'm going to tell you what the misconception is, and it comes down to cold sores, right? Cold sores and shingles. Mm-hmm. Cold sores and shingles, they they all are in the herpes family. Yes. Right? And a lot of people think that when you have a cold sore, the other person can't get it. Lies. No. And shingles, same thing. They're, they right? are contagious. So, so th- you know, the way, the way that, you know, I know that there's a difference between genital herpes and then the sores and then the shingles, but they're all within the same family. The interesting part is, is that you can, you can touch, like I had shingles when I was younger. I had shingles that attacked my forehead. That's why you have those scars. That's why I have scars. Not I have I not, have shingle scars. Yeah, yeah, I have shingle scars. And 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 the truth of the matter is, if somebody was to touch this and then touch their genital, they would be getting 
genital herpes. There's a possibility, right? Yes. But it it so not everybody's situation is is that they got an STD as a result of, of cheating and, and, or anything and of that nature. Shingles and and herpes, just so that you know, can also develop when you have a, a low immune system because it is in that family. Yes, you know that we it doesn't actually mean, isn't it, is it, am I not correct that we all thanks have, David. We all have. You all have, we all, we all have, the have strain. it in it. It's yes. just, they're inactive. And for yes. the most part, most people, they, 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 it never activates. Correct. So we all have it in us. Correct. Yeah. So it just, it's dormant for the most part. And usually they activate when it's exposed mm -hmm. to someone who has an active, um, STD in, in that family. And we, we also, we each have, um, our own body chemistry, our own body fluids, um, and when the, our fluids mix with one another, it can become bacterial. And a female has more of the, um, you know, because we have Yeast the infections. discharge, yes. the discharge, we will notice something different I had first. That happen. Yeah, we'll notice something first. That but, freaked, but for men, that freaked me the hell out. Why? <laughs> because we, I was in a relationship, an exclusive relationship, and um, she developed. Some type of, um, you see, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but Patty, Patty's in the health industry. And okay. she said, Mia, STD is my specialty. You can get it. The misconception is that they classify it as an STD. You don't have to have sex to get it. Correct. Agreed. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. So I, I was in a relationship where she, our body chemistry for some, at one point in our mm -hmm. relationship was funky. Mm-hmm. And she developed uh, a, bacterial a bacterial infection. So what, you know, what's the first thing that happens? Yes, we know, Patty. Yeah, a herpes. Thank you. You know, what's the first thing? Like, what the fuck is going on? I, I was thankful that actually we didn't, she, she did not question me. Right. When it, we actually went both to the doctors. We both got ourselves checked out. We were both STD clear. So then we went on to the next phase in regards to that. And it was just it's the bacterial, your body just, chemistry. Did it was it just wasn't. something in, in our body chemistry at the time that we weren't vibing. Right. And it was, it was crazy. And in the back of my head, I really hope she doesn't think that I'm cheating on her or anything, because that's the first thing. Most of course, people that's think. the first thing that people you know automatically, I mean? people will assume. And, and I know I, Virginia chime in anytime I interrupt it. And I'll tell you this. 95% of the population has herpes. Look at that. We're getting statistics. Thank you. Thank you for sharing 95 that. 95% is 95 a lot. 95% is a lot. It is a lot. lot. It is a lot. So. But, um, you know, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. You see, Virginia, I interrupted him, and then I apologized for interrupting him. Where did him. you then see I Virginia there? I, Virginia, I don't know if Virginia's still on. I'm just saying. Oh, you know, oh, she's oh, going to probably. Yo, she has you like, she's on your right shoulder right now, <laughs> like the little devil. <laughs> Give me that mouse, that's, bro. That's my big sister. Yo. I know, but she already she she already gave you instructions. That's she what it did. is. She, she did. She did. She gave you instructions. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the body chemistry it works really funky, um, and it, and that's the part where people automatically couples um, automatically think that you right away have been there's been an indiscretion um, because now there's this this uh, situation with our body chemistry. Right. And, and that's the first thing. Well, I don't have it. The defensive the, the people get defensive. Yo no lo tengo, yo no tengo. I don't know where you got that from because it wasn't for me, this, that, and third, but not understanding that sometimes our, the body chemistry, especially if you're on medications, mm -hmm. you know, if you're on medications, your body chemistry can. Oh, if you can, have an autoimmune, uh, autoimmune disease, there's so many variables when it comes to that. It's just not always what is stigmatized in, in the public view. I'm like, oh, no, it's always about cheating. It's n No, it's really not. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Mm -hmm. Not at all. And Patty so. said, yes, it's a lot. And a lot of people even don't know it until they get tested. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and then, and someone can have it and never have an out. We're talking about herpes. Can, ne can have it, never have an outbreak, live a long life, never give it to anybody. And right. they go. And like I said, we all have that, that genome in our system. Right. And, and, and I think that it's fair to say that what, what a person should do is do your research first before judging. Do your research first before should judging. Should never fucking judge right? in the Anything first place. Anything throws off your pH. Yeah. You know, how, you know how much courage it takes for a person that has to divulge that to someone. Like, 
like if someone told me that, and let me tell you, I've had that experience where a couple of females have told me and I, I kind of, I didn't respond the way I should have responded. And, um, you know, and I apologize. Was for that, that because that. you were ignorant? Yes. I was a hundred percent ignorant about it. Um, and in hindsight, it takes a lot of courage for a person to divulge that to someone else. They're, 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 they're at their most vulnerable stage right now when they express and share that with someone. But you have to think about always, I'm, I'm always thinking in the positive. This person right now is sharing with me one of their most intimate, darkest secrets with me mm -hmm. has enough trust and faith in me. Obviously she's feeling me that she's sharing this with me. I have to, I have to sit down and listen to her and ask questions. I owe her that much. And then once I get all the information, then it's, it's perfectly okay to say, you know what? I, I, I completely understand. It's not for me. Um, you know, I, I apologize. I, I wish you the best, but I think if someone comes to you with that type of information, you have to take a pause, mm -hmm. listen, and then come, once you get all the facts, come to a conclusion. And honestly, I mean, it, it's, it's one of the, it's, it's one of the biggest things a person can do is just, you know, just listen, listen to that person. Cause that person is at their most vulnerable state and you don't know what type of damage you could do to a person if you react the wrong way, because it took a lot of, it took a lot for them to actually pick you out of however many people she was speaking to, she picked you to share this because she's feeling you and how you react or he's feeling you or he's feeling you, <laughs> he or she feeling you and how you react will affect how she continues on her journey. Cause you could diss her or diss him and that person might just seclude herself or her or himself for a very long time after being vulnerable, the damage that, and might never ever recover from it. Mm -hmm. You know, you always got to be kind. We got to be cognizant of everything. And I, the way I see it is like, wow, you're being vulnerable with me. I, I can give you at least the respect of you. Explain Let me, I got questions. Explain it to me. Let's go. Especially if I'm vibing, if, if we're there and we're vibing, I owe you that much. Absolutely. I owe you that much to sit down and Hey, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. And then, let me, once I got all the information, I'm going to make a, a, a decision for myself and, and then go forward. But you know, I, I got to give you the most, the most, the utmost respect for you, you know, asking me and telling me this information, I, you know, that's just me. Yeah. And I mean, the truth of the matter is, you know, there is, and, I, and I'm going to go across the board. There is no, in my opinion, any type of illness disease, infection that takes away from who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. That's important. You know, um, I know people living with HIV. I know people who lived with AIDS. Um, I know, I know people who have STDs and, and I've, those persons, people who have divulged that to me, I always tell them and, you know, you still love, it doesn't love, it doesn't define you. Right. You're still loved. You're, you're still you. wanted. I know it's, it's a little, it's a, it's harder, right? It's harder. Yes. Because you don't know how the other person's going to react. But I always say, you know what? It's the other person's loss. It's not your loss. It's the other person's loss. If they, if they don't want to continue to get to know you as a person because of that, mm -hmm. then it's, you know what? That's their loss. Yeah. That, at that moment, you're just defining them for what they have and not who they are. Correct. Correct. Right. Especially you can, if you, you know can quote them. me, you can, everyone could quote me. I got a lot of quotes. You can quote me. <laughs> so, you know. All right. All right. So let's go back to, um, the, uh, the having sex and not using protection. Cause I know I've thrown my dick on the, on the crap table <laughs> many a night. <laughs> I don't know what the what? fuck I was thinking. Yo, was like, <laughs> yo, the way I'm you sorry. Said every, that. every man and every woman has, and, done, it, has done it. I know I had many nights I've thrown my eyes like 
I, I'm going to do the Eddie Murphy. Super oh, fat. I roll the dice. Super, super oh, fat. she was good. Oh, sh- yeah, she was good. Oh, she was like, oh, shit, I got syphilis. Oh, I got gonorrhea. Super yeah. facts. Super so, facts. Super facts. Yeah, I mean. It, it's a crapshoot. Don't you love it when people have unprotected sex and the first thing they they have told them, oh, my God, are you pregnant? Oh, my God, am I pregnant? You know, that's yeah, the first, been, that's I've, the first I've, thing. I've, I've they're not through, worried about anything else. They're only worried about whether they're pregnant I've or not. I've been through that shit, too. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God! It, it's just it, and no. And that's why I say it though. It's like when I say I throw my dick on the on the crap table. You've taken man, a lot of risks. I've taken a lot of a lot of rec. I've been reckless in my past, and uh, thank God I'm still here. I'm alive. I'm healthy. You know. <laughs> thank I God got, you don't got a limp dick. I got. I don't got a limp dick. I, uh, um, you know, it's it's. I got four. I got four amazing children. I'm good. So, it's 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 hard. Oh. Can't can you get me my chocolate? It's downstairs. The Lindor. It's right there. You're going down. Really? Chocolate? Mind your neck. Holy get crap. Get me the chocolate, please. Don't get her anything. Please. It's in the bag. Don't the get pack. her anything. It's that time. It's that time for a snack. Oh. It's Every a- time for you is a fucking snack, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's a snack. <laughs> oh, you too? You're not helping. You're enabling your mother. Thanks. Good job. We need snacks. We need snacks. Bro, I called and you. And if you take, listen, if you take one of my pieces of chocolate, we're going to fight. Since you don't want me to eat chocolate, you take one piece, we're going to fight. But aquí, you're gonna... aquí publicado y todo. But you, but if I'm you're... threatening you. Who's texting you or calling you? I don't know. Put it on airplane mode. I'm not going to put it on airplane mode. You, you never Because then I'll forget. You'll never listen to me. I do por listen. Eso, por eso las cosas te pasan. I listen to you. I sound like a parent I, right yes, there. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. No, I listen to you. I, I, listen. I, I listen to your word when you preach. So. When you're preaching to the choir. So anybody has any questions about sex that they want us to discuss? Um, you super know, mega producer? <laughs> super mega producer? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to join us, baby? You want to join us? You can take a chair. You can take a chair. <laughs> you can join us, baby. You can join us. I mean, um, we could go on and on and on and on. No pun intended. Go on and on. It's like we said, the, the topic of sex is is broad. And here's the thing that I that I also, I think I want to touch on a little bit, that we can define sex differently. You said touch, so that's, you know, <laughs> that was a cue. I'm sorry. Um, you know, because aside from, from, from having, you know, um, like I said in the beginning, sex is easy. I think to me, it's just the most easiest thing that you can do. The hardest thing you can do in a relationship is just that have that conversation, right? Have that communication. Why do you th- why why do you say sex is easy? How is sex because easy? sex is easy? You could just be like, listen, he is sex. He is sex. The actual it's easy. act. Yeah, it's easy. It's like lifting a five pound dumbbell. It's not dumbbell. that difficult. No, it's, it's not. not it's obviously, not the physical act is not. It's not hard. Listen, I had one person just say, you know what? All you have to do is jump on him for five minutes, and then everything is thrown. I'm like, what? That's your definition. Mother effer. <laughs> Are you not my friend? <laughs> That's not cool. That... <laughs> yeah, put it down. Put it down, mother effer. It's hazelnut, puppy. Like, I like my nuts. It's hazelnuts. Wow. Okay. <laughs> See? So, I guess you can you can chew on that chocolate and then give head and there you go. Listen, my baby Woo! said. <laughs> my baby I'm giving said, you ideas, son. Meat, meat is stale. He said meat is stale, right? Uh-huh. And what he said? He said wings are uh, low in stock. And the only thing that's gonna be good, yo, talking to the are my, my balls. Remember oh that? yes, so I like balls. We got, yeah, we got. I put, like balls. We gotta put tea we, bag, tea bag, tea bag. These are my best hazelnut. So you had questions like, okay, you mentioned tea bagging. What? I I personally do not see anything pleasurable in tea bagging a woman. <laughs> uh, you know, so I just don't get. And there's women that love that. Again, everybody's different. Just uh, like there's women that like golden showers. And so it's like, men, I, I'm not a golden or, shower person. Don't fucking R. come Kelly. piss on me. Don't come shit on me. I'm not about that life. That is like super gross. I'm, that ain't no part. You, you ever piss on me, we're going to have oh, problems. <laughs> well, yeah, that's someone, that's someone's version of foreplay. Ball outs to the head yeah, everything. that's all, you know. Give me ball outs in the head whips, all day. Whips, I don't care. Whips. Teabag me all day you want, but you was not So do you on enjoy me, that? And you were not shitting do on me. Do you enjoy that? I, it's fucking balls in here. I mean, I don't. You're understand. not answering your my question. It's, I don't care. You could you could Again, teabag me all you want. It doesn't bother me. That's not my answering my question. My, <laughs> I like balls in my head, in my face, in my mouth. Okay. I like balls. Okay. What do you like about it? 
They're nice and soft and squishy. Okay, all right. They, I don't know. I asked for I that. I put two in my mouth. <laughs> Look, prim, your prima says she doesn't prima, like I hate balls. balls. Why you don't like balls? Well, they got to be nice and shaved balls. They can't be like pelusa balls. Okay. No pelusa balls. And men, please, yes. Manscape. Groom. Manscape. Groom. groom. You have to groom. You have to groom. Manscape. You have manscape. to groom. Yeah, definitely manscape. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and then there's men that like women with hair. Yeah. They do. Yeah. That's when you just got to grab a toothpick and work your, and bring it with you. Okay, so we have a topic, booty calls. We'll get on that. We're going to get on that. We're going to get on that topic. Oh, we're going to get on that. Uh-huh. Hair, yeah. Hair. You know what I'm finding? I'm finding now that a lot of women are opting to let their, their pubic hair as well as their underarm hair grow. Because it's a fad. Is it? Yeah, because someone on some video, some artist, some musician or whatever decided to do a video. There was a... These bolas are good. Like, I are you practicing? Is this, that's why you wanted the chocolate balls? Because you want to practice? I'm always Because you've been... Chocolate. I mean... You have the head bob movement going, so I guess you feel you wanted a... This is a good... These are warm-up? <laughs> oh, 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 you're warming up your jaw? <laughs> but that's just a fad. It's just you a, think it's a fad? Well, yeah, it is. But remember, in the 70s, when you watch, when you saw Playboys, right? Penthouse, you opened up the, the centerfold, they had the bush. Pelusa. And then in the 80s, the bush then started getting trimmed, right? Now you started doing little designs. Here, here's my question. I would like to know from the women out there... Do you take off your pubic hair for you or for the man or for the woman? Let's just put it out there because it, it could be man or women. I, I want to know. I do it for myself. Why? Because I just prefer the, the, the nice trim look. I think that's more appealing. Do you look at her? You look at her every day? All the time. <laughs> Hello? Don't know. Don't get me that. Do you? Okay. I, be, I don't know. All the time. I'm asking. Okay. All the time. I get the mirror. I'll be like, whoop. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Natalie said Madonna didn't shave armpits. Yes, she did for a Nat- while. She did Natalie, it. Natalie. Mm-hmm. For me, for myself. Okay, good. You see people, the, the females are saying for me, for myself. Okay. Yeah, me too. I just That's just my preference. For myself, definitely for me. For self, feels amazing. I do it for me. Mother effer, Dillagaff said I do it for me. <laughs> I do it for me too. <laughs> I, I, I like things to look neat <laughs> for myself. Yeah, I mean, and I, you know, I'm glad that they're all on the same page because I know some, you know, some females. You know, what do most females do in the winter well, with, with, their, with their leg hair? I'm sorry to interrupt. It. Remember, the the whole purpose of pubic hair was back in the caveman because there was no underwear, right? So pubic hair, kind of. Keeps bacteria out. Um, allegedly. Cold. Or what, yeah, allegedly. Whatever. But, you know, it just became when, and this this is the thing. When oral sex became popular, coincided with, okay, we need to now um, start manscaping or womenscaping down there because... Uh, you know, or else, you know, if you got a bush that's four inches high and I can't see your lips or anything like that, and then I got to put on a helmet with the light and then I got to go in and dig and spread things out, bring a toothpick and dental floss. That's a problem. That's a lot of work. <laughs> see, that way sex isn't hot. Sex isn't easy. That's a lot of work. And then for a woman giving head and the guy has a bush, first of all, men, if you don't manscape, your penis really looks very small. Really? Of course. Because now... You got the How wall. How do you know? Know what? How do you know? That, that, <laughs> men, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know when I was a little, when I was a little kid, I didn't know about manscaping. Yeah, I know. I'm like, wait, like, I had to, oh, uh, wait, I had to think about it for a minute. <laughs> let me pause before I and listen and then I'll react. Okay. Let me pause. Be quick to listen. Yeah, be quick, yeah. to speak. <laughs> So I was like, okay, let me take a pause. So my facial expression was my pause. Like, what? <laughs> I remember when I was a little kid, and I wasn't taught sex by my parents. It was taboo type of thing. I learned that shit on the streets. I learned that in school, and, you know, that's that was that generation. But I didn't know about manscaping. Manscaping I learned by 
watching television or talking to other of my boys or talking to females. That's that's really how I learned what women like because I listened to what women were talking about amongst themselves. <laughs> Hence why I hang out with women all the time. It's Zoe said thing. the first time I took on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I also realized that um, pubic hair leads to a musky, musky smell. <laughs> so unless you're going to condition and shampoo it and you want to braid it down there, that's a different thing. So I learned, I was like, wait, okay. And then when I did it, I was like, wow. And I looked at myself, damn. Yeah. There's times that I've seen like balls that look like door knockers. And shit. They'd be like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, now I understand the whole concept. And then, you know, you don't want hair interrupting a flow down there. Like, if I have to stop, and I've, 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 I've honestly, I, I've been a piece of shit <laughs> in my life. I really have. Because- Zilla Gap said, I had a woman come to my house to have sex, and she had a hairy pussy, so I sent her to her house so she can shave and come back correct. <laughs> I I did even better. I had a shaver and I shaved the woman. I said, mama, I, I'm not into this. I, and if I'm going to get into it, I got, you know, and I shaved her down and then, and <laughs> click is, clacks, yeah. click clacks. I love <laughs> click clacks. <laughs> Yo, this is how demented I am because that's a turn on for me. Like if, when I'm going to partner, can I, can I shave your ass? Can I shave your, I, I, I love that shit. I'm in, you know, you're a I'm groomer too. You. Oh, I'm a groomer. I love that. Ladies. Shit. Now, you know, he's a groomer. <laughs> He will groom your pussy you know. and your ass hair. So I'm like, this is the way. I like, yeah, it's smooth. Because you get you get that in between stage where it's prickly, and you're like, yo, it itches, it scratches. That's also like razor. Stubble. It would only so stay smooth. It would only stay smooth for a day. Do, yeah, that's all. I Unless mean, you get even a laser. if you do it every day, because Unless, you can't. Huh? Yeah, or you get waxed well, or laser. You, yeah, if you get the Brazilian, wax and laser. Yeah, that's that's the, the only thing, and it, and it lasts for a while. I had someone who had that, and it was amazing. The because, Brazilian. Yeah, because it just it was. It was like a baby. It was. Total upkeep every single day. It was like, ay, aquí hay party todo día. You know, so. No, I had a shaver, but she had to learn her lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I've been groomed, and I love it. Okay, he's always been groomed, okay. and she loves it. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a preference. I mean, now it's just, it's it's a Wait mainstay. a second, I swear, he had to stop me because he had to fart. Ay, bendito sea Dios. What? She had the hair in her mouth, right. and he had to fart. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't know what she was doing, and oh. he had to fart, so he had to stop her. Okay. okay. I'm still trying to... See, I'm visualizing. I'm a voice. I'm trying to like, visualize You see, it. some people like that. Like what? He, some people like um like the pussy, pussy farts? farts. Oh, pussy I love farts. that shit. Pussy farts, yeah. yeah. Talk pussy to farts. me, baby. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, <laughs> coño. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> oh. Habla, man. Talk to me. What, 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 what language Tried is that? wax, and that shit hurt. Oh, it, it does hurt. I'm not saying. It. Listen, everything everything that's worthwhile, there's, there's some pain to it. Yeah, I mean, waxing, I think waxing, it's better. I think maybe. I, I, give, I give you women all the credit in the world that waxing and the shaving of the legs and all this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's winter season. So a lot of you. Sugaring must- is more gentle. What is sugaring? I've never heard of sugaring. Oh, Sony, please so- explain. Yeah, Sony, so- I want to hear that. Sugaring is more Let gentle. Let me tell you something. You see Sony, she looks like the most quietest nun looking church girl monja. monja and she is one of the most demented minds i've ever met i love her that's I great love, that's I how you have her. to be you have to be on the dl so I nobody knows her. we have some conversations green eyes it's like the crazy. best thing though best thing is sugaring sugar paste instead of wax X- oh but okay. is it still like that whole pulling um you know aspect of the whole waxing Sugar wax. So, so if a woman uses sugar wax, you can I can immediately eat her at that point and taste the sugar. Ay, bendito. You can't I'm, have. I think that I'm, once you, you know what? Speaking of this, so the other day I was watching an episode of um, what is this dude? Um, oh my god, the, este, the tipo that's the woman's. Um, oh my god, the woman, You're the, so the, the the woman that's a mafia head. What's her name? Who are you talking? Oh about? my god, Gilda Verilda. Griselda Blanco. Oh, so what's the show? They have a show. Mafia head. I know. Listen, they they have have a show. They have no. They have a show on on HBO, and these women were getting their assholes bleached. Yes, to make them whiter. I guess. Why? I don't know. 
I was like floored because it was the first time I've ever heard of it, and they were actually showing her. No, I've her. heard of it. I just don't she know was why. on her fours, and and her oh, friend. Oh, she was the, getting it done. She was on her fours, and her friend, and she was like, "Yo, I can't believe you convinced me to do this." And they put injections, and she was like, "Don't worry about it, because your yeah, asshole is gonna look really white and pretty." And in my head, I'm like, "Why?" I mean, I mean, I understand people eat ass and all that other stuff, but at the end of the day, like, if you don't, do you need a do you need a white asshole oh, as okay. opposed so to a I, black asshole. I, I got, don't understand. I, I got like, I yeah. In this climate, we can't say men or women, but you don't I, taste the sugar. You don't taste the sugar. Oh, uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Then forget it. Just put sugar on nah, it. Yeah, you want sugar, sugar put, crema, ponles, caramel. So if you're eating pussy right, you're eating ass. Correct. Am 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 I correct in 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 stating that for all of the you, all of you? Here, the totos here. Like if you Look, yeah, the totos yeah, here, there's the totos here. like and actually that space between both is also an er- erogenous zone as well. It's very sensitive. Actually, the anal cavity also has actually more so receptors so, so, than the vagina. Than the Sony vagina. corrected me. She said, "Doesn't make it." White, it makes it, it lightens it, but why? For the purpose of what? For what? What purpose? I need to I know. I mean, for me, it would look pretty, and, you know, I, I like it, you know, because I'm a voyeur. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Because it's it's lighter? I don't understand. What what would turn you on about a lighter asshole? Uh, no, it wouldn't turn me on. I'm just a nice, clean no, no, no. canvas. It's, it's I can care less if it's white, black. I mean, A cause... canvas. <laughs> Because if you're Afro American, like I, I don't care what you bleaching, it it's still gonna be black. Natalie had a partner who absolutely didn't want it shaved. He thought it was not natural. Okay, and I and that's I believe per, that that's a personal and I, preference. I, I, I believe yeah, that because there are preference. men that just like it just as it is, you okay. know. But not even trimmed though. I mean, shaved because shaved would be like phew, but trimmed. It's L- for those who wear bikini thongs. Okay, for those who wear bikini thongs. Okay. okay, I still don't get it because your asshole. No matter no matter what type of bikini thong, I you guess wear, maybe because when you bend over, like if you're at the beach and and you're bending over, you're bending over, you can see the brown fucking susias. I swear, bending over. Well, I well mean, see, but understand understand the mindset. I'm gonna bleach my ass because nobody I'm gonna... likes a dark butthole. I'm dying. <laughs> Well, yeah, because I don't understand. That's that. some racism right there. I mean, and these are women. I don't know if men. I'm sure that there are men that also do it. But at the end of the day, my thing is, para qué? Well, Terry, what men love bleached assholes? Because right? I'm, I'm a man, and area. I can care less if your asshole is bleached or not. And yeah, I mean, I think, I think like pigments. I know when I got pregnant with Nina, my armpits got really dark. So I know that your pigmentation changes, and I'm not gonna say that in between my ass crack is not dark. I believe it's dark. <laughs> I, when I look at it, it's dark. I mean, and that's what you it is. You look at your ass crack? My labios are dark with a fucking mirror. Oh. Hello. <laughs> you know, so at the end of the day, you know, I do know your pigment. You, you have different pigmentation colors. Um, I just don't see the concept of lightening it up, and that's going to do something to somebody else. But, I mean, everybody has their own opinion about it. I think also, some people Terry, have a Terry, complejo Terry about says, the color. Terry says ass men are the ones that like bleaching in the porn industry, there's just a lot going on in the porn industry. That, that's what I say. Because in the porn industry, you have but everything and anything. Like, like I look at those, I look at those women and men, and I'm like, eso no es verdad, eso no es verdad, eso no es verdad. And I'm not talking about implants or butt plants. I'm not talking about. I'm just talking about. I've never seen. I mean, and I do know that there, um, there are different filters you can use, and you can do touch ups. But sometimes these bitches be having like like pristine asses, and I'm like that shit and pussies but that remember, look like but like porn. You're you're an actor. So I understand. It's, it's acting. I understand. So their their canvas, their body is their you know their their um, how am I gonna say it? That's their acting skills is their body. You know, so they have to. It's just like a bodybuilder has to keep their muscles in pristine shape. A porn star needs to keep their boobs perky, their butt plump, you know, everything nice and neat, great for the camera, you know. Monique said that she thinks that people have a complejo about the color. Okay. All right. And then we have here uh, Terry who said, I know a few ladies that have it done. Have you ever asked them, Terry, why they have done that? Like, what, what's the, you know, if they're not in the, in the porn oh, industry. Oh, so wait, no. She said they take it in the ass and a lot of it gets dark. Doesn't matter. No, you're not understanding. I, are you trying to say that the more anal sex that you have, the darker your anal area gets? But is it, does it matter? I don't know. 
You're asking the wrong person. That's I'm just one thing saying. I can care less. What color your ass is? <laughs> asshole. It's not your ass. ass. Oh, I'm ass. sorry. Asshole. That's right. It's, if it's, you're into it, we're going to go at it. It doesn't matter. This is what I'm saying. Like, you know. I, I yeah, she know. said, yeah. She, she said, said, yeah. yeah. What? She's saying the more anal sex you have, it gets darker. So I guess visually maybe, you know, they want it. I don't know. Interesting. We're going to have to do like a uh, um, I ain't a doing no trial run. A, a trial or Absolutely not. some type of study. I'll do a study, but I ain't doing no trial. <laughs> I, I ain't going to be no guinea pig. I ain't going to put no Nobody needles was... in my freaking ass to make it look white. So... We gotta. We have to. We have to do the needles or whatever it is or whatever paste they put, and then you gotta have anal sex for like a week and see if it turns darker. I don't know. That's ridiculous. You gotta have them. You have to have anal sex two or three times a day for a full week and see what is the comparison before and after. I'm just saying. That's wild. That is super. Patty says no. The bigger it gets. All right, (laughs) booty calls. Oh, Lisi, you doing menage a trois, mama. You went from Facebook to IG. What's good? She's, mis- she's looking she's, for that menage a trois. She's Don't use Clorox. <laughs> Word. No te ponga bleach. Don't do, no te ponga bleach. Don't do a Trump. Booty <laughs> calls. Booty calls. Um, bo- booty calls, I think, are they, hey, if that works for you, that works for you. You know, um, everybody has that. We've Not all everybody, had, but I think we've all, it's fair to say that we've all had, have had at that one part one of our stage, call. at one part of stage of our lives, yeah, we've had, we've that. had that person that one you can call whenever you need it. It's understood, man. You better kiss my ass, Negro. Please, please, bro. please, please. I think I was your booty call for some time. Let's let's talk about wow. that. Let's talk about that. Wow, facts, facts. <laughs> Before you and I got serious, I we him. just used to kick boots. You know that. Yes. Kick boots, Papa, <laughs> outside. I'm a viejita, going to be 50 soon, and I'm good with that. Listen, we already have it established that she went to recess at your high school and picked you up. So that's already established. <laughs> no, 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 no. Excuse me. Let's go back. Elementary school. No way. Not that. No. Yeah. Come on. That's rape, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's just- that's sodomy, <laughs> rape, molestation. You have rape, anal bro. sex two to three times a day. Your shit going to slip right out. Oh, at that oh. time, but you guys didn't know How you know, Patty? <laughs> you have anal sex two to three days. You go, your no, shit's t- gonna two to right three out. times a day. day. Anal sex two to three times a day. When your you, shit's gonna slip. When you right say out. your shit, are you meaning the actual like literal, slip or, like her literal uh, shit? Uh, oh, okay, uh, her literal uh, shit. Uh, okay, that's that's good to know, Patty. Thank you. I mean, you've been a fountain of information today. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's gonna Appreciate stalk it. you now <laughs> on Facebook. He'll be your friend, and he's gonna be like, Patty. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna send you. A, I want to send you a friend request right now. Okay, <laughs> right now, Patty. Right now. Got you. Um, Coach no, oh, no. By the way, by the way, uh, since you know that we, 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 we love to support small businesses, Patty Santiago makes some amazing soaps. Um, I love all her soaps. They're all natural. I actually tried the oatmeal honey, if I'm not mistaken. And Correct me if I'm wrong. And she seems that she has some toys for people, too. So she, I'm Yes, <laughs> she has a lot of toys. She has toys for people. Um, I believe she also has some lubes and some... Some flavorful uh, it's not even, individuals. So. It's not toys for tots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, just, um, you know, Patty Santiago, she's on Facebook. You can look for her. And I, I believe she has something else. Oh, you, you I'm, have, I'm she definitely. She has deodorant. Re- deodorant I'm coming up. Definitely requested your ass now. Yeah, she, she's going to be making some um, natural deodorants as well. And she shows you on her page how she makes everything so definitely hit her up if you're looking for some organic natural soaps and soon um some deodorants as well and she she's a sweetheart as well um so you know like i said big ups to small businesses uh we'll, we'll put all your stuff out there yeah if you guys have something going on a side hustle a gig and like natalie natalie um and then she has this balloon making um, company that she's doing so, so she does presentations. Yes, Natalie Hernandez yes. does the whole um, bu- um Natalie. Natalie, it's what is it? Lonona, L- 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 B- um, loons, no, Nona noons, something yeah. like that. But she does a lot of um, she does uh, specialized pieces out of balloons, parties. Yes, and she they, does events. They're amazing. So, yeah. They look pretty. They're like, oh, I want to say it's called Lolo Nuna Nona. I know it's Nona. I know Nona's in there. Nona's in there, but um, yeah, Natalie Hernandez. Look for her as well on Facebook, um, and she does her her. Listen, nice, uh, Patty balloons. and Natalie, feel free to put in the comments section your pages or links or websites, whatever you yeah. need. Feel free to do it on the IG live, do it on the, on the Facebook live. We definitely don't have a problem. We're trying to 
we're trying to grow and as we're growing we're grabbing someone and bringing them with us so just you know feel free to do that that's that's how we roll yeah um we'll be sharing the link i'll share the link on um ig i'll share her link as well as natalie's link patty and um yeah please natalie. do something so Tonya. we'll do that okay we will definitely <laughs> share the links get to these there I said, please, yeah, do something, right? Anyway, but yeah, so yeah, well, definitely, Natalie, uh, she she's said located. It. Lu, 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 how the hell do you pronounce that? Lonona. Lonona. Yeah, Lonona Balloons. Lonona. She has, I think it's a website. There you go. And she her has, IG. Okay, so her, her IG, IG is, is um, L-O-O-N-O-N-N-A. That's for Natalie Hernandez. She is um, the balloon uh, artist, and she'll do your event. She okay. she does great work. They're beautiful. Um, and then Natalie's located in, in the Orlando, in Orlando area. area. She's in Orlando. And we got, Patty has Luna Soaps Look at that. underscore on the gram. There we yes, go. Yes, so on the gram, it's uh, Luna, L-U-N-A-S-O-A-P-S it's on the underscore, comments, yeah. and it's also on the gram. And it's on the comment section. We'll put them on, you yes. know, just like we tell you, like, share, subscribe to our page on YouTube, Facebook. We'll put them on there. Go on to their pages, like, subscribe, share these pages, it's great that people are taking, you know, the the initiative to be entrepreneurs and, you know, we're good. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, um, that's what we're here for as well. It's not just for us, but also um, so we could connect you. Networking is very important. Um, you know, so if you're looking for something, just chime into us, let us know. Um, and we could connect you, you know, we have, awesome. a, we have a lot of connects. So I got, we question. have also little imperfections. She's on that's, um, Zoe and little imperfections. She does, um, resin. So yeah, she's got stuff for Valentine's day. That's coming up now. Yes. So Zoe, put, put your IG little on. Little imperfections. Um, but I believe she's doing that from her personal Facebook page and that is, um, S O E again. And then a, I, M N I N that's on her Facebook. Oh, and look, then, look, spider woman got Bronx buds. Okay. What? And you're sharing that now. Oh, we have to talk. Oh, son. Right. What? We Bronx got Bronx buds, buds are extremely, are extremely small, small business. business. Mama, you just put it on Facebook. Yeah. It's going to get big. Gonna, gonna pop up as soon as things get legalized. But for now, it's we, gonna pop we are off here anyway. for friends and family. Nena, mandame todo lo que tú tienes, for por favor. For real, how are you going to keep that? How are you going to keep that such a secret until now? <laughs> that disrespect. So Bronx Buds, Bronx Buds, you know, you, just use your imagination. It's, Bronx yeah, Buds, okay? Yes, Sony, uh, Sony, is, uh, Sony, it's in the Bronx. Um, and I, you're Sony, you're on um, IG. She's on Facebook. Yeah. So we can connect oh, you. Zoe little little imperfections is L I L. Oh yeah. I M P E R F E C T I O N Z. Yes, Spider Woman, you'll be getting a call. Spider Man, you're gonna get a call. Spider Woman, not Spider Man. Spider, she's my woman and my man. Okay, How's that? that that's Stay something focused. that's between y'all. Stay focused. What up, Jacob? Jacob's What's up, on? fam? So yeah. Okay, so I anybody else? Anybody else has a small business? Please feel free to share it with us. Yeah, we just will put it. Share. Just put it in the comments. Give us and, pictures. Yeah. Give us whatever you want. We will share for please, you. Please, this is this is actually the best way to do it. Please DM us on our pages on Aces Up on Facebook. Is that Dick me? What? You said DM. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. We got to stick to the topic. Okay. Got you. I got you. Listen, <laughs> just listen, DM us, um, put your links on and we'll share it. Um, I'm usually, I'm the one that usually is handling all the social media. So put it on. I'll make, I'll make a post about it. I'll splash you all over, you know, and we'll definitely help you out. But I got a question. What's the better sex booty calls or a relationship. <laughs> I should. Not, I think you need to answer that question <laughs> because I'm even. I'm not saying. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm not saying. I, I, let's be. Let's That's be, a hard question. Yeah, it is a hard question. But let me. Let me. Let me say this. There is. Um, I mean, I don't speak for me. Um, for a very long time, the best sex that I had was a booty call, even through my relationships. On until wait 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 uh huh uh, dale reversa okay even through your booty call I mean even through your relationships the best sex you ever had was a booty call but you're in a relationship you no no have I'm, a, no you shouldn't be having booty calls no I'm your not saying that I was having the booty call so while correct I was, it okay so not that I was having the booty call while I was in a relationship I said the best sex I ever had 
Oh, in my lifetime. I'm so sorry. We the most important. We forgot Big Mace, Big Face Music World. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Big Face Music World. Let's, um, we they, we he, he's a producer. Uh, he has an artist right now called uh, the Young Viral. He's got an EP coming out. He's he has also, an EP coming the, out. The metaverse is real because they will be throwing a concert <laughs> out soon. If um, you know, information will be given via social media as you know as things transpire. But yeah, Big Face Music World is on. Big Face IG. Music World, one word, is on IG as well as on Facebook. Oh, yeah, and, and we, we have, have, we have throw me my, throw me the merchandise. Throw so. it to me. We have merchandise Aces as well. Aces up merchandise will be coming and soon as he well. Got a, he has a person. He has a studio as well. Okay, and he if you come, studio is a green. If you come to the studio, that means you're coming to my crib. Full respect up in my crib, and you'll have a great time with my crazy parents. Oh, by the way, Boricua Papi is on, on tic- IG. That's TikTok. Papi. Papi has uh, on, TikTok. On, TikTok. on TikTok. On TikTok. He's on, on TikTok. Yeah, on TikTok. Here we go. Here you'll, we go. You'll see a lot of shenanigans on TikTok with Boricua yes. Papi. Yes, a lot, um, a lot, a lot. But so let me clarify. So I my the best sex that I had for Is a very long time. Mine? Just talking to the mic. But you're talking, so why I need to talk? Oh, you don't, you don't want to talk? Wanna, oh, I don't no, want to talk you, over you. you. You're, into- you're having a conversation Thank with you. the audience. So, so to, to clarify, I in a re- I had. The best sex that I ever had was a booty call. Not that I was having the booty call while I was in a relationship, you know, until eventually I got into a relationship. Then that became the best sex that I ever had. But to be honest, you know, the best sex that I ever had for a very long time was with a person who was just a booty call. We can never get into a relationship because I guess of sorts, that's all that we really vibed on, you know, and it is what it is. Well, some people, in my opinion, some people are just meant to have sex with Absolutely. because their sex is just good. That's true. And there's no purpose for a relationship. And you have that understanding. You know what I mean? Where you can just call each other up. See, Monique have- says it like it's it's primal. It is. It's primal. Uh, the energy between it. But like when you can. Because it's just But sex. then there's no pillow talk. Those it's are the like, ones you call. I'm gonna be real. Those are the ones you call when you uh, you're at the club and you get out the club and you're feeling nice and you want some some action. You got that henny. It's that henny. It's that you henny. Got something sex. in the system. You got something in the system, and it happens that way. But is it the liquor or is it the person? It's the liquor that makes you want the person. Mm, so it might not be the person. It's you a want the person too. Yeah, I understand. Well, but but great understand great. that availab- availability plays a big part when you know you can call a certain person. At any time, because you know it's on and popping, then you know you're gonna call that person. Doesn't mean you might vibe. It's just oh, you know what I'm horny. I, I I need to get some, and you know that's understandable. That's well, all. Before I got serious, I was um in a sabbatical and I didn't have sex for a while. But before that, I had a booty call, and it was the best thing ever. Okay, I know. Then I went on sabbatical, and then my husband took me out of my sabbatical. He twisted you all around and locked you Les down. He said, he said, a chastity me, belt. Es, 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 a, es, a, es a meal. Facts. Es a meal. Oh, and, and another life hack. Women, that is so sexy. When, you so tell sexy? A, when a woman tells a man, es a meal. Es a meal. <laughs> Just a life hack. Ven acá. Ven acá. Ven acá. When you, Todo eso que tú ves ahí es mío. When you talk, that's, 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 that's fucking sexy. Not, not not I poppy no no sexy and you look right you look right into your, each other's eyes and be like yeah I like when my husband says I, I got papers for that ass dude. <laughs> I'll be like oh word he'd be like I got papers on that yo ass. and there's no expiration date on those papers <laughs> word he'd be like that shit's just don't expire he, oh he's shit. like period point blank end the story what did you call it Mia what did she call what what did I call what. Yeah, we said a lot of things. You have uh, guys. When you, oh, <laughs> I don't know. No. Guys, when you ask a question, you gotta actually be specific with your questions, because <laughs> we we lose our train of thought because we go from one place to another, and it, it's like what? What? What'd you ask? What? El me pone con un espagueti que has been boiled. You know when the spaghetti's are boiled, it's like oh, all entangled and all that entanglement. Oh, a huge entanglement. I, I didn't need to know that because that visual just right Listen, now, I'm like holy shit, the shit that you've seen between my husband and I, and uh, I'm not. Saying you've seen a lot, but the shit you've seen is enough for you to know. Like, wow. A lot of shit that I've heard, I'm like, Ivy, like that's right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I would say. Holy Before shit. meeting your husband, sabbatical, mommy. I went without sex. I was on a sabbatical. I, I went on a hiatus um, for a long time. For about a year. Or no, it was about a year. 
I was in gear. Yeah, that's when I just was like, I I need to. You were you were best friends with your toys. Uh no, I wasn't best friends with my toys. Mm -mm. And here's the thing: I've gone on three sabbaticals. One consciously because of the simple fact that you know I decided I no longer wanted to have sex, um, while I was not in a, a serious relationship, and then um. My husband went on tour twice. Uh -huh. um, and so, you know, my mind had to go into the shutdown. You you know, there's no sex going on, you know, so. And you chose not to use other yeah, methods? Yeah, I just chose not to. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's not I a problem. Yeah. Damn, we got 272 comments on that Facebook. That is amazing. Nice. That's amazing. Damn, some of y'all like this sex cop <laughs> topic. Uh -huh, no puedo hilarious spaghetti. A bell die. It's spaghettis, man. When these mother effers want to take you and they want to whip you all around, I you gotta, become okay, the most flexible I person I got a know. question. I, obviously, it's evident that you enjoy that shit. Not a chastity belt. No, I didn't call it a chastity, a chastity belt. Is something else. I called it a chastity belt once she went on a sabbatical. It was just a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. Chastity belt is that like. It was metaphoric that, that, that uh, I was uh, saying Imagine me walking that. around con una cosa que parece is iron. It's made out of iron. And then you have he to have a key. key. That's around his neck. They had that in the old days. Yeah. They, they still have, have them now. Chastity belts? Yeah. When you do uh, BDSM, it's, part, it's, out of it's part of the, when the you plate. you do what? BDSM. What's BDSM? All right. Let me. I'm going to look at. I, 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 know, I know what it is. I would just want to be completely accurate when um, I am. Giving well, some information. I'm going to touch while you're looking for that. Natalie, I'm going to touch on this. So Natalie put, it's walking a thin line sometimes to separate the emotional from the physical with the booty calls. And here's the thing with the booty calls. Always, in my opinion, in when you're having a booty call at some point, either the female's going to fall and want more or the male's going to fall and want more. So even though you put all your cards on your table and you tell each other, this is what it is. It's not going to be any more or any less. At some point, somebody always, always caves in. That's another topic that for another day. But who falls first, the woman or the, the man? The woman. Okay. Uh, well, uh, women uh, are more emotionally based. Absolutely. Men are more physically It's like the based. woman, it's like she says, yeah, I know you don't want a serious relationship. I know you don't want a serious relationship. And then after three years of fucking, it's like, oh, no. I can't do this no more. We, we have to go into, no, it happens. Okay, so. BDSM, to be completely accurate, is BDSM, SM, bondage and discipline and sadism and maso, maso, Tú no I can't. I can't even pronounce on that. So basically, BDSM is when you and it's bondage. It's, it's bondage. It's it's ropes. It's role play. It's, it's like leather, Mr. Gray, but it's is more. It Mr. It's, Gray? Yeah. So it's 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 not. Ernesto said IG is paused. IG is paused. Met super oh, mega producer. Yeah. IG is paused. So, yeah, IG is paused because the live video ended. IG, I'm sorry. Sorry, IG. IG well, they don't hear down. us. They yeah. don't hear us. Oh, okay, so. They're not hearing us because we're not on IG. So we're They're going back live. Ernesto, and thank you oh, for okay. looking out for that and letting yeah. us know. Yeah, one person's, uh, uh, Monique, I agree. One person will always develop feelings, and, and that's where the hard no, part is. No, but my question in. is, which is the person? I say the woman. The woman. I, I say so the woman. I. Uh, yeah, 100%. The woman always. But, um, yeah, so BDSM is basically, but BDSM is more of a mental. It's not a physical. The physical comes into play. But you're because, talking now bondage. Well, you're, yeah, you're but it's like also, but it's, stuff. but it's no, but it's sex. I, I mean, in New York, there's plenty of dungeons. I don't know if they're there anymore. <laughs> if you want to ask me why I know, because I've partaked in some of these events in my this past. This is all new to me, and I'm his ace. <laughs> I never knew he was in the dark side like this. <laughs> so. You'd be surprised who's in the dark side in these places, but it's just it's just another form. So it's that's finished? all it is. Oh. Yeah, IG's done. IG's done. What? We, oh, we because of our out. time limit yeah, on IG? Yeah, so. Oh, okay. IG actually lasted longer than I thought it would last this time around. So. It's always been me. Yeah, Natalie, it was always me in yeah. the past, too. So yeah, we'll, that, we'll figure that, that out. So but we're only on IG right now, unfortunately. We're on Facebook. Because, oh, I'm sorry. We're only on Facebook right now because, unfortunately, our IG or cut on YouTube. Off. We're both on YouTube. We're on, listen. We're on YouTube as well. We're on YouTube live as well as on Facebook live. So it's, it's, we can go either. We have three ways for right now. We're trying to figure out where we can Alex, Ernesto, thank you for joining in on Facebook after IG cut off. Sorry. So it's fine. We apologize about it's, that. It's a, it's great that you guys can just jump from one to another. That's cool. No pause. No pause. 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 No pause. pun intended. No, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, booty calls, are, you know, they're good while they, while they last, but eventually somebody caves in, and I will agree it's the woman. I know in my case, case in the past, it has been me, um, and it's just been like it is what it is, you know. It's never been me. I can say that. It's never been me. It's never been you? No. 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 I, I, I've been able to 
compartmentalize what it was. And that helped me not get attached. Gotcha. But also on the flip side, I've been, but I mean, I've, I've had a booty call starting a little bit of relationship. No, but but I'm talking about a long term booty. Call. No, not a long, not a short term. No, booty a, lo- call, a long term, a long term, a long term booty call I've, for years. You know, whatever. You know. And when I say when I desc- when I say booty call, I just mean strictly that booty call. No dating, no hanging kissing? out. Oh no, there's kissing. In there's booty kissing. Calls. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because for me, you don't kiss with a booty call. No. I I I did. So you just jump right I've, into sex? I've no. I mean, you do the whole thing and you know foreplay and stuff like. I learned. Th- I learned this. Zoe early. never caves. Zoe she never caves. No, she never caves, and she doesn't Clorox her her butthole. <laughs> no bleach. <laughs> no bleach. No, no bleach. bleach. No I bleach. learned, at least for me, kissing is very intimate. So, when I kiss. I learned that. About, how do, I learned that how about do, myself. How does your booty call become your booty call if there's like no kissing in the beginning? Well, there there was. That's what I'm saying. But I mm. learned I learned that about myself that kissing for me was very intimate, and I realized that I was kissing, and my kissing was attached to my emotions and my feelings, and I started developing. But in hindsight, I'm I'm also thinking, okay, I can't be in a relationship with this person. So that's when I understood, I said, okay, I can't include kissing in this because it's going to lead into feelings. And I saw as well that if I continued with the kissing, it's also going to affect her and her feelings. Cause hmm. the way I kiss, I kiss, I got to look at you again. I'm a voyeur. I'm looking at you. It's very intimate. It's very passionate. And I'm sorry, so, so you women. Eat but here's that what here's shit here's the truth, in my opinion. No, give your women, women, opinion. women. And and I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna direct this at women. Women have a tendency that when men tell them, "I don't want to get into a serious relationship," they can change it. I don't want to have kids. Whatever it is that they don't want, women have a tendency to to believe that over time they'll change. They will change that person. And I say women because I, I, to this date, I still don't know a man who has said, well, you know, I'll change her and I'll make that happen. A man will change for a woman <laughs> if he wants to change for a woman. If he wants to sacrifice, if he wants to invest in her, if she wants, if he wants to, you know what, I'm feeling you, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to adapt. But this is sometimes what women do also. And I don't know, men may do that, may do this. I don't think men do, but women do that after a while, you know, they're like, either you give me the ring or I'm going to leave. They put that pressure, you know what I'm saying? And it's either, it's same thing with a booty call, you know what I'm saying? Deuces! It's like, don't or dating, me. or dating. That women have a plan, right? Some women make plans, and they say, don't give a this man is how long we're going to date before we're going to get married. But the man could tell them, I'm not getting married no sooner than five years. But what the fuck and is that? And it's year three, it's year three, and the woman's like, no, nah, I'm going to tell him he needs to marry me now, because if not, But what the fuck wife. is that? There is no guide, there is no manual in regards to relationships and marriage, uh, how things should go, and... Given ultimatums and well and 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 putting timelines on timestamps on things on how they should go go accordingly makes absolutely no fucking the, sense. Listen, I knew someone who had their the, from a a little girl had her timeline, and her timeline was by this age I want to be married, by this age I want to have a child, and she at that time was in a relationship with someone and because the time came at the time that it came where she wanted her marriage to be, you know, to fulfill being married and he wasn't ready. She's like, if you don't marry me, I'm going to leave. And he proposed and they got married. And then she said, by this age, I now want to have kids and he didn't want to have kids. And she left. That's she really, left. Mm-hmm. I mean, the guy made, I mean, the guy made a choice, mm-hmm. you know, he made a choice by, I would, I'm going to say the word caving in. Like, if that's not what you feel. But if, you, if that's not your plan, you right. should never even have gotten as far as, you know, being with this person. You know, if but she. But then the, the guy in, in, in turn is like, she's bugging when she's not. She, she's not really serious. But some some people are serious about their time. Correct. Life. Correct. Yeah. That's, that's Correct. the whole thing. Nelson, I learned long ago people change for who they want to when I've, they want. Absolutely. I agree. Yes. Alex said men do it too, too. I was fucking someone for a while and out the gate he told me he wasn't looking for anything and later down the road he wanted something with me. But I did not allow my feelings to grow. Whoop. Hashtag whoop. That was my exit. 
Okay. Yeah, and that happens at times. You know what I'm saying? That happens. And that's you why know. I excluded the kissing part because that was intimate to me. And I'm like, oh, no, mm-mm-mm. you know, that's going to be mm-hmm. tight. Yep. Tight. No All right. In, no pun intended. Tight. So I think it's time we wrap it up. We wrap it up. That's our topic on sex. If there's something that you want to discuss for next week, let us know. We're open to topics, suggestions, uh, anything. You know, we're game. We're game. This is not just about us. This is about you as well and our transparency. So um, just make sure that you share, like. Um, subscribe, subscribe, follow, understand. Follow. Remember the toda con- mierda, toda la mierda, yeah, understand jodienda. the concept. Like you guys are sharing all these, you know, these these beautiful ventures that you're on, these beautiful journeys that you're going on. Oh yeah, I can't. And, I, and we listen. want, we want to, we want to, you know, actually, you know, touch as many people as possible. No pun intended, but I guess it's it's par for the course. <laughs> for the topic. Tocar, you know, tocar. Everybody wants to touch it. Toque, toque, toque. Yeah. So, but just yeah, subscribe, share, like, follow. Is it Luli? Is it Luli or Lulai? Luli, Luli, Lulai. Oh yeah, I did that with my husband. We were dating for a minute, and I'm like, hell no, ring. Then I'm not going to take this relationship serious. So he proposed, and we got married this past June, happily ever after. Congratulations, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. But it's like my sister said, we could have a topic yeah, about that because you know, does marriage actually consummate? A, yeah, does marriage really consummate a, a successful relationship? Okay, Luli. Luli okay. No, and that's wonderful. You see, but you know, it's like my sister said. You know, a person will change their decision or decide to do something if you know they want to you know so i'm glad that you know you gave him that ultimatum and he was ready to pop you know, i don't pop, like pop that the word question. i don't like that word ultimatum because ultimatum is it's true because she didn't say she didn't give him two options she just was like you know she's not going to take it serious that's what she said so she didn't say like i'm going to step away so no but kudos to you you know and i wish you both the best newlyweds you shouldn't be bed in bed right now having some nice luscious sex <laughs> but no i'm kidding i'm kidding um, no, she's not. It's have some sloppy, nasty sex. That's great. <laughs> it's great for it's great. Endorphins heal, and they're they're great for emotions and physical. Oh, and before mental we being. go, I did see an article this morning, and I didn't read the article itself. I saw actually the the, the headline. Here we go. And it said the best sex is within the first fifteen minutes. That's do bullsh- you all agree or do you disagree? Fuck no. Hell no. 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 I, in my experience, no. No, 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 hell no. I have to read the article. I'm going to read the article. I'll probably put the Shit, link. First I'll put the link on our on the video so you guys can all check it out and you can read it and you can chime in. We'll respond. Um, we'll, we, we will definitely respond to see. But yeah, I want to read first that article. First 15 minutes, I'm still kissing, fondling, fingering, touching, groping. That takes a well, minute. Well, it all depends too. I mean, the, some people can last for a while and some people can last for a little bit. No, but the, it's stating the first the first 15 minutes of sex is the best. Yes. Regardless of what type of sex, the first no, that's that's un, completely untrue. Okay. Yes, going to get on it. Oh, okay, you do get on that. You do that. What she's going to get on? I don't know what she's going to get on. <laughs> but Eva, what are you getting? Oh, Enjoy. You're going to get on it? Oh, she's going to get on she's it. Gonna, hello, <laughs> read between the lines. Read between the lines. Hello, hello. Mija, get on it, mama. Ride that horse. <laughs> Absolutely. Knock yourself oh, out. Oh, thank guys. you, Luli. We love you, too. Thank you. You guys have been wonderful. You have a great night. Did you stop it? No, I did so not stop it. So what are you doing? I'm just switching because I got to tra- I got to transition. Relax. Just what are you transitioning? To our... Oh, I can't. I can't wear her. That's your <laughs> wife, bro. Super <laughs> Mega Producer, that's your wife. Sure. Guys, guys, we love you. We, we love you. Soon. We love you. We'll see Thank you. Next you. We got some. So we got some new things coming soon. We're so gonna have pop ups. Pop ups. Pop ups be ready. Sure. Pop ups. So you know, stay blessed. Have a great weekend. Have an awesome MLK. If you're off, enjoy it. Relax. You know, and always aces up. As always, as we say, love, laugh, and live. All and right? also, and also, if you guys want to have private conversations, be sure to just DM us either on aces up or on our personal page. Yeah, My personal page is Mia Malave. His is um Nell Nell Nelson on Facebook or um, Coach Nell Mart. We always have hashtags on all our posts, so yeah. it's easy to find us. However, you want to find us, and we're always willing to speak and talk. Or you need to vent. And thank you for there. joining us, and thank you for your transparency. Much love. Absolutely. Have a good one. Enjoy, guys. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Ivy Hing.